But just know, Zebo is where it's at. Yes, sir. Welcome back to the Last Minute Podcast. And all right, guys, Zebo Jr. Mm-hmm. And on our left, we got three very special guests. Scotty B. Ajax Swayze. Lee Magic. Yes, yes sir. sir. And we back, episode 158 of the most consistent podcast in the Carolinas. Yeah. Yeah, it was still there, too. It was still there. Yeah, it was still, still there. there. All right, bet. How everybody feeling, man? Good, man. Good. How y'all feeling? Uh, Chilling. Another good. Sunday. Voice cracking a little bit, but... Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. He, been out, he been outside too much. <laughs> oh, that's what you said. Concert or something? No. Oh. Oh. Like, no. I don't... He just been yelling. I don't know. You're growing up. But... <laughs> 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 it needs to go into the hype. But, uh, <laughs> but nah, I'm glad um, everybody's good. This, um, this weather kind of crazy, though. Thanks. Yeah, that's kind of it's been raining all weekend. Yeah, well, I was supposed crazy. to do the same thing this week. Yeah, that shit trash. Can't even be outside like that. I love the rain. It's yeah, some good chill weather. The rain, the rain is good at night. I like the rain at night. Yeah, but during daytime, it's I'm trying to yeah, maneuver, I'm trying to get, some, yeah, <clears throat> trying to move around. Yeah, but um, yes, yeah, sir. Championship, we out here. Uh, shout out to the sponsors, Mama Cedar's Food Truck and Live Nation's Mobile Bar. Get your tacos, get your drinks, and uh, make sure you tune into the um, Don't Be Dumb. ASAP Rocky live stream 829 at 11 p.m. Definitely be there for that. We got special guests and yeah. So let's go ahead and kick it off. We're going to run uh, what we've been listening to this past week. And Tanner, you started up. All right. Ah, ca- caught you lacking. Well, you did. <laughs> so what I've been listening to. So still listening to uh, Bodie James across yes, the tracks. That shit is that tough. That shit is tough. That shit is super tough. That shit tough. hard. Uh, algorithm lucky day ran that that shit is hard mm. um it's it's a little weird but it's hard um when did he come out with it uh i think it was last friday oh damn yeah nah a couple fridays ago june 28th oh. uh oh, misunderstood nim shell that shit is hard shout mm. out nim shell shout out, Nimshel. Shout out stacks on the production and engineering sure. uh I did run for forever us never then forty two Doug. Oh don't, shit! Don't like it. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think I might be happy. It was Al. Yeah. Oh damn. Yeah, I'm not a big fan. Uh, I think I might be happy. Rob Banks. That shit is oh, hard. Oh yeah, that shit hard. Um, Sauce Father Two, Sauce Walker. That, that shit, shit hard. Tough. Oh, yeah, no, that's Sauce yeah, that, that shit, shit is hard. It is. Um, I like how at the end of every track he slows it down. Yeah. He I, he always do that shit. Shout out to the Texas shit. Facts. Uh, Hearthstone Psycho, Don Tolliver. I can't get away from that album. That shit is crazy. Uh, He's always going to the spectrum. Yeah. That's kind of wild. We are going there. I mean, yeah, but yeah. like that's just wild. Like he I bet he, spectrum. I bet he sell that bitch out. I don't know, bro. Maybe not. Spectrum? Know. We'll see. Selling out of, the arena is crazy. The same place people. Usher performs? There's a lot of people. I don't know. There's a lot of people. Uh, gangster shit, Scotty B, Elite Magic. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. go. Yes, sir. That shit is to. tough. So, uh, with Love, Jay <clears throat> Ford, oh, um, yeah. Born sure in the sure. Wild, Tim's. Still listening to that shit. Can't get away from that. Oh, yeah, either. you can run that for a minute. Uh, that's really about it. Wasn't a lot of new music that came out this past weekend that I was interested to or interested in. <laughs> Keyword, yeah. I ran the, uh, I did run Rich Kid out. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, wasn't good. Still, I uh, didn't like it. Uh, not surprised there. But. I said, wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Keep Captain 100. But, yeah, that's really about it. <clears throat> well, um, solid list, solid list. Um, so, for my list next, I've been running heavy the Carter 3. <laughs> yeah. Ain't no wrong. <sighs> that motherfucker. Bro, that album is, like, perfect. Yeah, Classic. like that's a perfect album. Yeah, no. um, I've been running. Co- <laughs> no, womp, womp, no, Whoa. the Carter Three that, is especially not, a perfect, not perfect. But I'm gonna let them get off. For that time, it was good. It was for that time. It's but great. It's, still it's great. It's still some good ass. It's still some good ass music. Perfect. It's not it's perfect. perfect. It's great. It's barely timeless. It's barely uh, timeless. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. Wayne, Ooh, Wayne is barely it. timeless for real, bro. <laughs> yeah, I woke it up. I woke Whoa. it up. I don't think she's gonna get into it this quick. Yeah, Whoa. y'all done started it. Whoa. Whoa, man, I've been listening to Wayne lately. Like, what is he saying as you grow up? But keep going. Um, <clears throat> sorry, that threw me off. Uh, Concrete Boys is Us Volume One. That's your heart. Yeah, I've been running uh, Party Next Door P4. Hard. Been running um, the Bodie James new project. I went on a cold run um, Friday. Yeah, I ran yeah. Born Center in full, and I ran Off Season in full. Um, born Season, yeah. I mean, not Born Season, but Born Center, I feel like did not get appreciated. Um, enough. Uh, enough. Yeah. I nah. think that's a very solid project. Yeah, that's an amazing album. Yeah, it's good. It it's really got some is. of my favorite cold songs on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah for, for sure. Banger. Um, 
Cozy Rap, Scotty B. Yeah, got to. Got to, got to. I ran Gangster Shit, Scotty B, Leak Magic, of course. Yeah. I ran uh, Kendall Cud's new single, um, Quarter Life Crisis. I ran that. I ran um, Wiz Got Wings with Khalifa. And um, 1500 Days of Summer, Cam Jet Speed. Shout out Cargo. For sure. With Love, <laughs> J4. And I want to say that's it. Oh, Larry June, of course. Of course, I ran Larry June. I ran a little bit of Earl, too. Um, I was working Sorry. out the other night, and... I just listened to some like some different shit. So, working working out the Earl is diabolical. Yeah, that shit, man. That, that shit. shit was nice. I ran I don't like shit in full. I ran that and then I think I ran Mike in uh one of mm-hmm. his projects. Yeah. But that shit that shit strange, was, strange workout music. That, that shit, shit keep you in the zone though. <laughs> yeah, that shit keep, was keep you chill. Nice. Hmm. Um but yeah. that's really about it. I ran Mavi's new uh joint and yeah. And at 5 a.m. in Philly, Meek Mill, I can't get away from that right now. Yeah, that shit tough. Yeah, that shit tough. I like it when he in that pocket, you know. But that's all for me. Um, Lee Magic, let's go with you. Okay, good. This week I ran, I ran a little bit. I did Kanye's, My Dark Twisted Fantasy. Mm. Yeah, that's when I hit Turner up on that. Like, that was, a, that's that's perfect to me. It's because it's timeless. I'm like, that's so classic. Because it came out a long time ago, bro, but it's still, it's still rock, like. And nobody is making music like that. You get what I'm saying? To me. Yeah, that's a great album. Like, it's great. People definitely ain't making music like that. And it's I like, agree. it's so art. That's it is a, art. That's a definition of art. That's art. Yeah, that's when nobody art. can really mimic. Like, it's just like, dang, Kanye, you was in your bag. And I'm getting older. I'm like, okay, yeah. he was spitting Nah, too. that one was crazy. And you can tell he be trying to like, keep in touch with the youth too. So yeah. So his flows he be, do. His flows he be he trendy. Do. Yeah. But he still sounds for stuff. He do. Yeah, saw how pen on that went crazy. Yeah, they went crazy. Like he had the perfect features on that. Yeah. Beats. I was like, it was. God. Even the cover was wild. The cover was great too. Especially OG cover. <laughs> then I ran, this is a different one though. This one rap, but I ran Miguel. Oh. His mm. album. I think it was that All I Want Is You. Oh. That right solid there is project. classic. Solid project. That's solid. I don't I, can, I don't know why he's not like in, in the, the conversation. He, he, that's what I was he's thinking. Really not. He's I really was like, not. why he not still in the game? Because he killed that album. Nah, he did. It's his off stage and out of studio antics that keep him out of that. Mm. True. It's the, yeah, Cause it's I thought Miguel hard. I always thought he was. Oh yeah, he, he was great. great music. Yeah, he, he really great. Like yeah, people I wish you doing like, that either. I wish you like perform more. Yeah. Or right. like going towards him. Ain't he the dude that jumped on stage, kicked that girl in the head? Yes, he did. Yeah, hmm. yeah. That's that's why he not up here. <laughs> that's probably why. I ran uh, gangster shit, of course. Uh, yes, sir. I ran. Uh, I always run. Give him the game. That's my mixtape. And I just really be uh, listening to shuffle a lot. I don't really run tapes no hmm. more like that. I kind of just wanted to get into some tapes, but I usually just shuffle. Or, that's really about it, bro. I'll be trying to see different music, you know, mm-hmm. other than rap. Just, Got to. Just listen to stuff and what made it classic. Like, other hits that ain't rap. With faux rap, like, what made it classic? And then they be having melodies and yeah. good, you know, good catchy hooks. And tom- instruments. Good instruments. Real, no, yeah. It's really original. Yeah, melodies was make timeless music. Yeah. yeah. That's what make it timeless. That's what make it timeless. And if you got the timeless beat, like, that's why I like about Kanye. He don't got a beat that you be like, I know what era that is. Like, yeah. Travis Porter. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. On, good you definition. Know, you, you remember that yeah, era. Good definition. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Kanye example. is like, it's so timeless. You, you can't, it, it's just going to ride. And that's how, some, I that's, how that. that's great albums. You I can know? respect that. Like, there's no time on it. I respect that. But it'll still take you back to where you was at, though. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, Solid list by League Magic. <clears throat> Ajax, what about you? Uh, shit, I've been running uh, that Polynesian by Smino. Mm, that's that's tough. That shit is tough. Um, Shit, Wiz having uh, low shimmy, uh, gold mouth by Luke. Oh yeah, um, sure. Shout out Luke. Head, Shout but, out. Uh, that's my album. Mm-hmm. Um, gangster shit. Got to. Uh, rags by Earth Gang. Um, what else? A weekend in heaven. Uh, my boy Marlo Gucci. Okay. What area? Yeah, he from New York. Oh, word. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, Hearthstone Psycho by Don Tolliver. Still over by Summer Walker. Ooh. And uh, Larry June, Meet Me in Napa. Yes, sir. By Fabo, Before I Let Her Go. Mm, mm. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Solid list. Solid list. Solid list from Ajax. Then yeah. <clears throat> Scotty B closes out. All right. Uh, let me start from my bottom. First off, I've listened to Jay Z, uh, 444. Mm. Yeah, that's a good uh, one. Okay. Mm, nice. My favorite song of all is 
You said your favorite song was what? Favorite song, my favorite song on that is Legacy. Mm. Oh. Uh, I've listened to Alice Phoebe Lou. You should check her out too. She's Ooh. like Alice Phoebe Lou. What type of? Uh, I can't really say what it is, but it's like that grounding type music. You know what I'm saying? To keep you just like in a chill ass mode. Hmm. Like, okay. It ain't really got like no beat drops, nothing like that to it. It's just like some real earthly, natural sound. Is she like a shit. bigger artist or like a like a lower? Nah, she she kind of like a bigger artist, but she more international. Okay, word. Yeah. Okay. She's singing. I'm assuming. Yeah. Oh, okay. What's her name? Alice Phoebe Lou. Okay. I'll send it to you on. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, do that. Do yeah. that. Uh, I'm gonna listen to a little bit of Schoolboy, Blue Lips. Uh, hard. Uh, my favorite Magic. song on there is really. I like uh, Lost Times. Mm-hmm. I like that song. I'm listening to some uh, Thomas Austin. He's a um, artist out in Mississippi. Mm. He's pretty hard. Okay. Uh, I've been listening to Mike. You know, I work out the Mike. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I listen to Anderson Pack. Uh, Kay Tronda. I don't know if y'all heard of her. Yeah. Of course. Kay Tronda. Mm-hmm. Have you say it? Tronda. Yeah. yeah. Black Eyed Peas, and that's really it, bro. Black Eyed Peas? Black Eyed Peas yeah. is crazy. That's kind of crazy. I went back to Black Eyed Peas a little bit, too. Bro, so. they got hits. They, they got hits. Nice. They don't get their respect. They make Will I, ass music. Bro, Will I Am does yeah. not get his respect, bro. <laughs> he really don't. He's bro. a great producer. Bro, amazing. <laughs> they was way before they timed, too. Yeah. They was. But it was still perfect timing, though, when they mm. came It was out. good timing. Yeah. It was good timing. Um, But, yeah, they were, like, way ahead of the, Facts. the time. Um, But good, good music from everybody. <laughs> Good picks, good picks. Um, does anybody drop this week? I don't think so. I know Ice Spice drops soon. Mm-hmm. Hey, remember that was the number one most anticipated hip hop project of 2024, according to Rolling Stone. According to just want y'all to know. That. According to Zebo. No, 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 not me. <laughs> according to Rolling Stone. Zebo G can't wait for Ice Spice. Rolling Stone said that was the most anticipated Versa over Cole. The- over Rocky, over Brissa and the Devil. And she gotta have a video out with all them songs too. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, gotta yeah. be, got to. She probably popping up north though. Like <sighs> she, she probably she is popping here. I don't, yeah, I mean <laughs> she, she, she popping. She, she probably popping like everywhere. Super. I saw. Popping. I saw. It was like it was, I did see the track list though. It was ten tracks. I saw Travis Scott on there, Central C and Gunna. That's the only three features. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. So. All right, Ice. The What's Gunner it? song probably going to do numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you probably. said Travis Scott? Yeah. What is a Travis Scott and Ice Spice song going to sound like? Hey, man, it's called numbers. I just know Travis Scott going to do too much. Oh, yeah. He's going to change the beat. Oh, every time. He's going to change the beat. Uh, got to sound like that. He got 37 ad lib tracks. Yes. I can, yeah, I can feel it coming. I swear. He got to make it. It's like his song now yeah. featuring you. Yeah. It's like, oh, we listen to a regular song. All right, now it's movie mode. Yeah. Right? yeah it makes sound like an invasion. Like, yeah. It's like the aliens. I just feel like I just want to hear him like, just time. spit a verse. Yeah. Like, yeah. Regular beat, yeah. no no effects, like a no, regular like, ass verse. The only person that real Travis Scott in was Twenty One Savage. Yeah, oh, on Nina. Yeah, I forgot about where, where Travis. That was the last time I heard Travis Scott just rap. I gotta run that album again. Twenty One probably threatened his ass. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like we ain't switching the beat. Don't be doing all that. Yeah, shit. we ain't, we ain't doing that movie <laughs> shit. Man, we just rapping. That's it. <laughs> but um, let's kick. Let's go ahead and dive into the interview portion. So, <clears throat> Scotty B, Leak Magic, and Ajax. So, first of all, if everybody can just like introduce what yourselves and like just what what do you do? Because I know championship music. If y'all can just um just a brief just a brief description. Scotty, start with you. All right, uh, I'm Scotty B. I'm the artist of uh, championship music. One of the artists. I'm from Gastonia. Um, one of the most coziest rappers out here. That's my image. I'm a cozy rapper. Facts. Um, uh, most athletic rapper. Facts. I work out all the time too. So hey, God body, God strength. You know what I'm saying. Amen. Uh, we started with champion. We started with championship <laughs> music. Well, we started off with badass music a long time ago when we first started, and shit. So um, we had a whole little vlog on that. That's, that's still on YouTube too. If y'all want to find out the whole backstory on bad on badass, but we we switched over to championship music because we just wanted to win. Like everything we want to do, we just want to have a win mindset. You know what I'm saying? So we just went to championship and it stuck. And that's really Solid. it. Yeah. Solid. Um, Leak, what you got? Yeah. Shit, this your boy Leak Magic, man. The natural. No sweat, but I'm an artist of championship music. We you know, like he said, we was badass at first. That's that's real OG. Like that's when we was going heavy too, going heavy. And then we switched it up to championship music. I remember when he was like, uh, like he said, doing anything, but he was just like, let's just have a championship lifestyle. Like 
live like a champion. That's what I remember him saying. Oh, that's like, a quote. Yeah, yeah like yeah. live like, like a champion. That. Then when you think about champions, like they live good, they work hard though. They do. And when you win the championship, when you win it all, you good. Yeah. No pressure. I ain't mean to keep the table, but yeah. And that's it, baby. Championship music, and we ran with that, and we starting to live by that too. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's for real. I can. We can just feel it, man. Yeah. Yeah. And then Jax. Uh, it's your boy AJ Swayze. Um, I'm a singer, producer, uh, songwriter, rapper. Um, you know what I'm saying? The third member of Championship Music, man. So, um, that's all I got right now. You know what I'm saying? We just here to win. You feel me? Yeah. That's it. So, um, so very solid. So, is everyone from Gastonia? Yeah. 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 Gastonia. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Everyone. So, did y'all, um, I'm, I'm gonna just speak from a group perspective, but did y'all did y'all all so growing up were y'all friends or was it like a, in high school we all met each other or it's, it's, like more, like, it's more like family type shit? Yeah, we we all been locked in since about like I know like four years old. old. I know Leek since he was like four. Oh word, okay, yeah, okay, so, okay. Yeah, we just okay. been locked in like on some family shit for real. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. And then just growing up, um, was there? So I know, I know as far as you, Scotty. Um, you have a musical background in church playing yeah, drums, yeah, right? I used correct. To play the drums and shit, yeah. Okay, so um, so you so just even back then, was there a hunger to do music, or was that just you just happened to be good at the drums, so you were just playing nah, the drums? I was always into music, bro. Like even on my like chill and quiet time, I was always humming, humming and like just like rapping over shit. Like I even in church, I hear like a church beat and I start rapping over top of it. Mm. Freestyling over top of it, something like that. So it was just like I always had a cadence too. So that's why I play the drums. And even if you like listen to my raps, you can hear the cadence sound like a drum on that bitch. So it's just like I was always into music, bro. I always liked music. I was in band in middle school, played the trumpet, got kicked out. I went to uh, <laughs> how chord. did you get kicked out? <laughs> I was just bad, bro. Yeah. Like I was always. I mean, I was chill, but I just got in some bullshit sometimes. Like mm. I was that kid to get in trouble for laughing too much. I, was, I mean, I'm just not gonna let you just run over me. I'm gonna still talk shit. We was always. I mean, we went to Greer. Right. So oh, yeah, it was yeah. tough as shit. So you really had to survive, bro. So it's like if you get caught, you get caught, you get in trouble. Right. But I was in band, got kicked out of band with the chords, and after that, I mean, I was just still locked in, bro. And then I started playing the drums about, uh, say about ninth, nah, not even ninth grade, was seventh grade. Seven. I started playing in seventh grade, and then I got involved in sports and shit a little bit more. Then I, I let that shit go, but I was still in the music. I was still listening to instrumentals before football games and shit. So the music always been the base. Yeah, facts. This shit was just gonna happen regardless. Though. Yeah, it just took time. And then um, Jax, had, what what made you dive into the music portion? Of, like uh, you know. So for me, I come from a real musical family. So like, from my grandparents singing in the choir, my aunts, my uncles. Um, I actually got an uncle that was in a Tyler Perry play. Um, oh, word. Diary of a Black Woman. Oh, sick. Was, um, That's hard. He was the lead role, Charles. Oh, word. Yeah, yeah. so uh, word. just kept seeing him on stage. And then me and Jack uh, actually dang on, um, you know what I'm saying? We both played the drums. Yeah, he was, Oh, he was, word. He was, okay, okay. okay. I didn't know that. If yeah, I wasn't so on Sundays, he will play. Yeah, oh, play. Okay. If I didn't feel like playing, he will play. If he wanted to play the shout and beat and he didn't want to play it, I'll play it. Gotcha. Okay. So okay. Was, yeah. Um, my mom, you know what I'm saying? So early on, I, I, wrote, my first, I wrote my first song when I was like seven. Oh, see. So, Dang. yeah, it's always been in my blood. Like, used to get the pots and pans. <coughs> I used to get the pots and pans out the damn cabinet and just bang on them all day. Mm-hmm. And my pops bought me my first drum set when I was like five years old. So, it's just been in my blood. Oh, yeah. So, it was, yeah. it was bound to happen. For sure. Okay, word. And then Lee. Yeah, like they say, shit, it started with me when I was very young, too. Like, uh, in the church, bro. Yeah. It was in the choir. Always in the car singing loud. Like I used to lead songs and shit. Mm-hmm. It's crazy because I don't been to their church when I was like, what was it, like six, bro? Yeah, we was like six. I was like six leading a song at his church, and then you know he was already my boy. So right. I'm like, look at my friend over there. Then he done, he done came to my church. I don't led a song, but I was rapping. Right. And right, this right. was way before like I thought about rap. I was a football player, so I'm just thinking like I was thinking sports, but I actually rapped a verse for church, and he was there. It's crazy. And oh, then we met good. each other. Tight. Like how we met each other. Kindergarten. kindergarten, yeah, like, and I think I like pulled the chair from somebody and he died laughing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, we always that just been on some right. yeah. jokes to shit too. Right. Like we was, like we say, we was just bad kids, but we weren't terrible or nothing. Yeah, we, yeah. we weren't really yeah. violent, but we could be like that. Just doing but some shit, just doing yeah. kid shit, yeah. but we do it though. You know what I'm right, saying? Right. We aggy, right? But um, yeah, like in the church, I used to like play like it was this dude named Sweet T. He had a saxophone. He he brought like these. It ain't drums, but it was like dragons, and they made like the. You know what oh, I'm saying? Wow. I would okay. play that at church. 
in that choir rehearsal, I would play the drums and see my papa used to play the bass. Mm. So he'd be at home practicing the bass. I'd get a bucket with a towel, play okay, the drums okay. while he playing. Like drum line was like my favorite movie then. So yeah. I just try to mimic that. Right, right. And right, then right. I remember coming to Jack Jack house. We'd go to Aunt Regina house and stuff and like play the piano. Mm. He had a piano. And he was really good at the piano too. He was straight. Like he could get on there and just make a melody like I would, I would be sounding like some bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> but then he get on there and make something. I'm like, damn, like he really straight with this shit. So so, so it's really like growing up, just music in the bloodline. Music and entertainment. From the, from the beginning. From from the the music. We was dancing and shit too, bro. Yeah, like, we was dancing. We've been entertaining. Like, We've been entertaining. In, in church or outside of church? In church, outside of church, church. In church. In, in See, school, talent shows, all type of shit. We won a talent show in fourth grade. Oh, word. They made us, we did so good in the morning time, they brought us back in the afternoon. Oh, damn. Oh, <laughs> cool. Yeah. We oh, performed cool. for the parents. And then we performed for the school. Yeah. And then like uh We got the tape somewhere. We got the We got the tape bitch. somewhere. We used to be on a step team at the boys' club and we was always entertainers. Like like I had won the crunkest yeah. fire award. Like Oh word. We always been entertainers. Whatever we do, we just show out. Yeah. And, yeah. So, and that's what we do. So wait, moving Well, I don't want to I did want to say I feel like like with church, because I, I understand the the church influence in a lot of musicians, I feel like it's so strong because you're you're around it's legit music you know yeah. it's yeah. music yeah. and you have a opportunity to play the drums or piano or yeah. you know yeah you know choir you know uh dance yeah. team all that so that's that's cool to um to know that that church influence is still a you know that's still a thing i mean i still see it to this day um a lot of people start in the church and yeah. i feel like that's such a good and place it's so to crazy because we was doing so much but I can say for myself, I wasn't focusing on it. Like, I literally, we would dance all the time in church, sing all the time in church. I mean, only one time I was going to be in this dance thing. Yeah. At the mall, we had, like, a dance academy, and I was mm -hmm. going to try to get in it. My mama was. But, like, we always been around it. Like, it's crazy from, like, 5 to, yeah. to like, 16. I, yeah. I didn't start dancing in church to, like, 16 because I was jerking in church. Yeah. Like, the dance. Right. So, we really been doing Making this. Making the jerker of the church is crazy. Like, <laughs> yeah, I remember that though. But I remember. They could tell remember, you. They could really tell you. Yeah. I was super. I was like, super yeah. jerked out. Like yeah. they, they would tell you. I was yeah. really influenced. Like I used to wear the hats and stuff. I was making videos then. We've yeah. been trying to make being famous. You know, right. nah, for the jerk, shoes. The jerk era was. Priceless. Bro, what? Like, yeah. like priceless. Cat daddy, jerk, <laughs> all, all right. that. that Blue was... skinny jeans, like yeah. super yeah. skinny. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so like as y'all started coming up and like really got a little bit older, like kind of high school era, y'all, I'm assuming all y'all was in the sports. I know Scotty was, I yeah. know League was. Yeah. But so y'all all played sports all through high school. Was y'all, during that high school time, was y'all doing anything music related or was y'all focused more on sports? Uh, yeah. yeah, we yeah, were like, still doing. He was playing yeah, drums. Yeah, like, drums, like, like, like I said, bro, I like, was there like was there like a dream in the sports? Because I know I know a lot of people uh, go through like you know I want to go to college and of course if I go to the yeah, NFL. Yeah. Like was there like a dream for that? Hell yeah, yeah, like, hell bro, like, yeah. We was like for real. We was close, bro. We was grinding, bro. Yeah. But like it was like like I said in that one uh, interview I had the other day, it was just like opportunity and positions, bro, and like shit that happened, like. I went, to, I went to a college where we had hella uh, quarterback issues. We went to like seven, eight quarterbacks. Damn. So it's like, and I played receiver, so it's like, bro, that, that shit ain't going to work. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, I had big dreams to like really go to the NFL. That's why I went to college, because I wanted to go to the NFL and shit. Right. But shit happened, bro. But then like in the meantime, like I said, in high school, I was listening to instrumentals. Like not listening to full songs. I'm, I'm actually listening to instrumentals, getting hyped up to that shit. Probably like rapping over them shits in the meantime, like after practice, going home, rapping, up, rapping over that shit. So it was like... We were still locked in with that shit, even though we was in high school. Mm -hmm. Like, I wrote my first song when I was like 15, 16. Mm -hmm. I rapped it to my boy Oquan, and he was just like, uh, nah, this ain't it. Keep going, <laughs> bro. But, like, probably about three, four years later, I linked back up with him again at Central, and he was like, damn, bro, you really rapping now for real? Like, you turned this shit all the way up. So it was just like, we've been locked in with that shit, bro. It was just timing. That's all it is. Right. That's, that's really all it yeah. is. Were y'all, um, were y'all, I mean, of course, you know, you got like the freestyle table at lunch. Were y'all, Participating in that or the uh, beat? We used well, to. I used to we, beat. We, we used to dang on really, uh, as our crib, we used to be in the shed. Mm. We used to go to the shed. Yeah. Okay. In the shed and we just freestyled like for about down three hours. Right, right. 
I feel like every friend group yeah. Yeah. goes through that. <laughs> I can remember in middle school though, we would like beat on the desk heavy. Yeah. And okay. then my yeah. class was good. My teacher was like, "We should put y'all in a talent show and shit like that," but it never happened. But yeah, yeah, we uh, yeah, yeah, I would do that, school. but I went rap in middle school and shit. Yeah, yeah. In high school we wasn't the type of dudes that's gonna freestyle mm -hmm. at the lunch nah. table. Nah, okay. Not like okay. that. But like yeah. it was niggas that would that rap around here like Swish. You know Swish. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I know Swish. That nigga used to rap all fucking day and try to like put us on freestyle rap at, at the, I mean at the lunch table and shit. So it was like it was cool. Yeah, right. But, like, right. We really want them type of niggas that's gonna yeah. jump right on the but, spot and freestyle. Right. You could tell, like, in that time though, hip hop was still like our huge influence. Like it was really sports rap. Yeah. You can tell how we was the niggas that'll really debate you about rappers. Like, you know how Same I just said the wild oh, shit. Yeah. Still today. I still yeah. today. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I always respect I've been, been, yeah. been saying wild shit like Dwayne yeah. shit since sixth grade. Like right. So we been them dudes, and like I used to debate with Swish at lunch all the time, like all the time. He put me on Kendrick Lamar. He was like my favorite rapper, Kendrick Lamar. This was way before people was on Kendrick though. Mm. You know, like really. And I'm like, <clears throat> then it's crazy. He was saying that. Then the next BET Awards, the cipher. Here go Kendrick Lamar. I'm like, this is mm. what he was talking about. Mm. And it's the first freestyle. Yeah, that was a crazy moment too. And so it's yeah, like man. that's when we it, like we we've been on. And I was, at that time I was just like, man, I do not like Kendrick Lamar. Man, I don't like Kendrick Lamar, but. He panned, out to be, he panned out to be. The, <laughs> he panned out to be. He panned out to be like the second. He, he, he really like the second greatest rapper that man. The second greatest. <laughs> I love Lee so much, bro. Like, bro I, love Lee. Me I love bro. Lee. I love Lee. He be ready to talk I, about. Like, it. I love Lee. I love hearing Lee's opinion. Nah, Lee be baiting me. Yeah, I, I love it. I literally love it. I'm like, I know Lee's around yeah. the corner coming about yeah. something. But um, so like around this time, so. In high school, is this like um was this like drill era? Was this um Drake era? Was this uh well I guess Drake era is still forever. But were um you know like we, what were we what we, were we listening we, to? We Wayne? went through every era. I would say our high school year, bro. Yeah. Cause we really came in ninth grade with no ceilings. Yeah. No ceilings, yeah. Okay. Ten, okay. Ten, ten I just grade, had to see where we was. Tenth grade you go jerk. Okay. Eleventh okay. grade, you got Wiz Khalifa. Wiz. Tenth grade was Taylor Gang too, because yeah, I used to be Taylor Gang. Oh yeah, I was. Too. Like, <laughs> I dyed my I think hair. Everybody, <laughs> I think everybody. Yeah. Was Taylor Gang. I dyed yeah. my yeah. hair. Everybody was Taylor Gang. Rocking straight chucks. Straight chucks. Yeah. Oh with yeah. The sock. Camo shorts too. And then it did. Our eleventh grade year, Chief, Chief Keith. Keith came yeah. out, yeah. and it got crazy. That's it when got crazy. It got Keith. crazy. Yeah. Like yeah. That whole Chicago scene. And Cole popped out too. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Cole was killing the whole time. Him and Drake. All right, so we talking late late two thousands, early 2010. 2009. Right. We yeah. talking about two thousand nine to fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, okay. That was Chief, Wiz, yeah, Mac Miller. Great, yeah, great era of hip hop. Yeah, right great. Yeah. Yeah. Migos, Migos, yeah. Migos, 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 Migos. Yeah, that was like 20, yeah, that was like 2012. That was like 2012. Yeah. 2012, 2013. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, because Cole really popped 2010. Mm -hmm. Drake came out 2009. Well, K Camp was out for a little bit too. Yep, K Camp was going. Wasn't crazy. that Rich Only Quan too? Man, yeah, 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 yeah. Bro. yeah. man. Yeah. That yeah. was that was the house party music. Yes. The yeah, Walkers. The yeah. Travis oh, Porter. Man. When I'm telling you, we that went through every crazy. phase. Oh, wow. That Look at me now, crazy. Chris Brown. Yeah, Walker yeah. was like my ninth grade year. Yeah. 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 yeah, that was like Walker, yeah. Walker Travis Porter. Crazy. Okay, so Two uh, Chains, Wayne, Future. Slim Dunk. Yeah, Gucci yeah. Gucci was on the run right before Facts. he got locked up. Facts. Juicy J. Juicy, yeah. Juicy, yeah. J. Juicy yeah. J. Oh, my yeah. God, yeah. Juicy J's sound was so fucking. He was influential as fuck. He was, bro. I'm going to be honest, him and Wiz together, though. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, bro. They shit just to go yeah, crazy. Yeah. Future, future, yeah. future, future came in heavy. Yeah, he that came was in later in that time. Yeah. Rich game. Yeah, that was when Rich? DJ Khaled had everybody on they on nah. his tracks. But when some type of way came out in that era, he bro, fucked that the whole stupid. world up. <laughs> I mean, I won't tell you though. Future came in and killed with that itching. That yeah. my mama said, "Oh fuck yeah. yeah, like yeah. That, that." I remember two we chains came places. in for real though. He too. did. Yeah. He two did. Chains. Yeah. Bro, that was a great time that was, in that rap. That was a great bro. time in music. Yeah. Bro, that, that time Kanye was, classy, was still bro. going crazy. Kanye yeah. was classic. Yeah. You can't get and that, that was YMCMB. Yeah. Chris Brown yeah. with the deuces. Yeah, that with was the Busta Rhymes. That was that Fame album, yeah. too. Like, like fan, fan of a fan? Yeah, I feel, I feel like Come on, it was dog. like 2000, like, I'm going to say like nine. To like 2014 was like the strongest crazy yeah. era. Like yeah. music it was like this. era. Yeah. yeah, that shit was insane. Like next, that one, was one, a, one week you Taylor Gang, next week you Juicy J, next week you you yeah. you just switching. Like yeah. you don't know what you want yeah. because you're a kid. And that you're was influenced. when our future came in. Our future, yeah. our future yeah. came yeah. in. Uh, Joey our, Badass came out. Joey, that time. Capital Steve, Capital Steve. Yeah, the, Rest pro, in the peace. whole pro era. The shit. whole pro era. Damn. Yeah, that was a crazy uh, time. The zombies, Flatbush zombies, ASAP Mob, ASAP Mob, Flatbush zombies. Crazy era. But it was. 
Like, I'm, rap Damn. was like this. The big crits of the world. <clears throat> you yeah. walk around the yeah. school, man. Bro, you I got never, your groups. You know who they are. Oh, yeah, they so. like your rap. Yeah. And I never, I'll never, i never forget when One Train came out and he had everybody oh, on Oh, One that Train was oh, crazy. Yeah, yeah, One Train. Oh, one Train. Oh, yeah, man. That's a rap. That's a rap. That's a rap. Fuck the game up. Bro, I swear, like. You didn't know who you wanted to be. It was too many rappers. They influenced. It was too much influence. It was too much influence. When As a Rap came out, it was over. Bro, I was telling my god sister the other day, I was just like, um, I was just like, what do y'all listen to? She's like, you know, a lot of young boy, a lot of Cardi, blah, blah. I was like, bruh, like from like my whole high school, I was like, hey, man, you have no idea. Like music was crazy. Nah, you can't talk to them though because they think that shit trash. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 I was like, I was, I was playing some music. Um, she was just like, I mean, that's cool. I'm like, yeah, nah. bruh, this they shit was like crazy. Oh, I, remember yes. I, played, I remember I was with my little cousins one time and I, I remember I played Chief Keith. Um, I can't remember. Remember what song it was? But they was like, "What the fuck is this?" And That's I'm like, crazy. Like, Y'all don't know shit about it. Like, yeah, that nah. was during that era. Like, that yeah. era was so that, amazing. That was that so was crazy, a great bro. era. Uh, but I will say, a lot of that music did not age well. No. So like, a lot of and we gotta throw Kid Cudi in there. Yeah, you do gotta Kid throw Kid Cudi. Oh, hundred yeah. percent. That's Kid the, Cudi just the good music era mm-hmm. anyway. The, like the good music Fridays. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Good times, man. Good times. Good Fridays was crazy. Nah, it was, but. Okay, so y'all was listening to that type of music. Okay, okay. I just had to get a perspective of like, you know, what were y'all listening to? Man, what a great So we was all listening to the same music. Okay. <laughs> okay. Big ass yeah. melting pot, bro. Big oh, ass yeah. melting pot, bro. Bro, right. I know. Like, I wish I could have like, if I could go back in time, like have a podcast like then, like now. Man. Oh, you know, man. like back then. What? We needed that then. Man. So much music. It's crazy how much like music has like changed for the good and bad. But it's just like back then and then like now. Bro. I feel like now... It's, it's so much of it's strategic. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's so much of it's strategic. Well, and, the internet. The internet yeah, took over. Yeah, and streaming took over. Well, yeah. internet did, but yeah, yeah, streaming took totally over. And numbers became very... Numbers always been important, but like numbers came very important into just how you drop music, you know, what you do about it, music videos, the whole rollout, all that. But um, back then, I just feel like, again, this was physical media. So, so CDs... Uh, posters, you got um, <laughs> fuck all that lime wire. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like it was a, it was a time when we would like you had to go buy the CD from Best Buy. Facts, facts. Like, facts. or lime wire or like I stole all your music. <laughs> like you had, yeah, I stole all oh, lime yeah, wire. Sure. Facts, yeah, sure. commercials on that moment. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. It was a, it was a time where you wouldn't go home and like. Get on social media. You would go home and listen to music. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I would be sitting in the room just listening to a tape. Yeah, Yeah. correct. Doing nothing else. I'm making my burning my own CDs with different songs on there. They thought DJ Drama was bad. You didn't didn't want to see my laptop, man. (laughs) (laughs) I had everything. But uh, (laughs) nah, for real. Oh, bro, I shut my whole my mama's whole computer down. Bro, I was burning (laughs) CDs for money in like when was this? Maybe middle school or so. (laughs) I was making no. I was the CD guy. Like people like want to do that shit back then. Yeah. Yeah, they're like, no. you know, Valentine's Day pulling up. You know, I need some of my girl. Say no more. Because I'm about to say that, too. We was listening to the singers. Like, Adele was hot oh, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah I yeah. love Adele. Yeah. Or like, yeah. Rihanna came out during that time. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Ooh. Yeah. Come on, Rihanna. Rihanna. Ooh. Yeah. Man, that was crazy. Yeah. That's when we wake up in the morning and watch videos. Yeah, See, like, MTV. That yeah. was different. 106. Oh, yeah. Uh, TRL. Uh, TRL. Oh, so, I knew everything. Bro, I know. play. Everybody. Yeah. Damn, what's the name of the BET show? I'm tripping. One Six Park? Yeah, 106. Oh, yeah, right, right. Yeah, bro. Yeah, Watching yeah, the top yeah. 10. Oh, my God. Oh, the top yeah. 10 was crucial. Every, 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 every day. Top 10 was crucial. Every day. Friday to switch up. And it's like, see, Pete, like, artists, like, they were fighting for that top 10 spot on 106 apart. Hell yeah. Now it's like we're fighting for, like, playlists on Spotify, yeah. playlists on Rap Cap. We're fighting fight for followers. <laughs> yeah, we're fighting like, for followers. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, if you get a top 10 on 106 apart, oh, nigga, you, oh, you, you, bro, you next. Yeah. Bro, they yeah. were. They yeah. world premiere Drake, uh, the takeover video. Yes, bro. I remember the world premiere. World premieres, man. What? One of the time, I would never take that time for it. Like, I feel like Bow Wow's never been more famous than 106 and Mr. 106 and Park. Back then, that's when you felt like a star for real. Not for real. Yeah, I mean, like, you got invited to 106 and Park. Yeah, it's live. Like the world fucking with you. Like, oh, some shit everybody's like, watching. Yeah, and they Especially did, if you they got that the Friday battle, spot. They did the battle raps and shit. That shit was so hip hop. Yeah, that was 106 so hip hop. Park was so hip hop. For real. It was like commercialized, but it was dope. Yeah, it was dope. But um, back to the championship music. Um, so, college, did we all go to college? Yeah. Everybody went to college? Yeah. Everybody played sports? No. No? Okay. Yeah, me and Lee did. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Football? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. Wait, you play in college? Mm-hmm. I played spring ball. Real oh, I shit. I didn't know that, bro. Damn. And right. when I did the winter thing, you know, you win the workouts, then I went to spring ball. Okay. I got pictures and all. I went crazy, low key. Okay. So, um, so, so, college, so after, so, well, during college, 
have we gotten to a studio yet to try to record music or are we still we still in sports mode still you know where, where uh, we well, at in terms me, of music personally um i went to the studio for the first time uh with my roommate and it's crazy because this nigga got a gold <laughs> plaque my old my first my first roommate got a gold plaque mm, that's hard and that's I, lit. as a producer and i was like what the fuck and he put he he the first person to take me to the studio that is hard so mm-hmm. that shit was crazy <clears throat> But how old, how old was you? The first uh, time you went to the studio? I was like seventeen. I was oh, like okay. seventeen when I first went to the studio. Got in there early. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So and then Scotty Lee, when was y'all's like first like actual studio session? You know what I'm saying? Uh, go ahead, Lee. Uh, yeah, I didn't really take rap serious until I I took rap serious. I was practicing in college, but not studio. Okay. I didn't go to the studio until after college because I didn't really perfect my rap until after college. That's hmm. when I I had got. You know, kicked out of college. You know? Right, right, right. When I got kicked out, I just rap. Like I practice every morning, but I wasn't really doing the studio yet. Mm-hmm. So what? <clears throat> um, so after college, I guess for all three of y'all, what was like the plan? Like, what was it? Just to get a job? Was it to go to the army? Was it to you know pursue? Like, what was we had what was rap. the plan? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. This is really it for real. Like, that was okay. the plan for real. It was like shit. College ain't work. We ain't trying to really work like that, but we gotta work. Right? Yeah, of course. So of course. fuck it. We just gonna rap and work at the same time. Try to find this shit. Okay. 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 Yeah. So um, I, I always respect always respect to that. So um, so let's let's go down the timeline. Um, I had it up on my damn phone. Tripping. But so Scotty. <clears throat> Now my boy was going to the studio in college though. Oh yeah, he I was, was really at it. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah, I was getting out of football practice at the studio. Mm. Oh so, okay, yeah, it was yeah. Like, okay, word. If it wasn't like, I had this one boy named Rodre. He's uh he, he from South Carolina. I ain't talked to him probably like two years, but if you see this dog, hit me up for real, bro. But like, that was the nigga that really pushed me in the studio. Like he saw me writing one day and he was just like, bro, you rap? Because like I, I was at my locker just had like I said had instrumentals in, right, writing to some shit. He he came behind me. He was like, bro, you you writing? I'm like, yeah. He was like, word, pull up. I got a mic and shit. Ever since that first day after I thought pulled up, bro, every day after practice, he was like, bro, you coming to rap today? He made me come in there. You coming to rap That's today? That's what's like, you need, you like, you need a homie like that. You yeah, do. so after that, that really just put that fire under my ass. I left, got kicked out of Longstone with the Central. Then uh, my homeboy Chance, uh, he had a laptop, he had a Mac and shit like that. So, you know, the Mac came with Garage Band and mm-hmm. shit. Yep, yep. So yep. I had me a little snowball. Went to uh, Best Buy, bought me a snowball. I just started going on there trying to rap every day. I was like, shit, if I can lay a verse down every day, I try to make a song every day, I'm straight. And then ball been rolling ever since, for real. Okay, okay. That's dope. So I see um your first project was I Feel Amazing. Yeah. Twenty twenty. Yeah. Um so when where were we when we recorded this? I feel amazing. I was I had moved up north <clears throat> and that was during COVID. I had moved to uh, Pennsylvania. But that was my first tape. My first tape was whenever I was in North Carolina Central. It was called uh, Taste Buds. It's on SoundCloud. Okay, 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 but, okay. Uh, right. And that's probably my hardest tape. Production was the production was ass. But like, <laughs> bro, the hard. I promise you, you, go back and listen to it. Like lyrics wise, that was your hardest shit. Lyrics, setup, song writing, every bro. song right. It was. I to was this so day? hungry, bro, bro. Right. To this day, I still say like that's my hardest it was tape. Just, I gotta go the run that. Production now. was just ass because we was trying to mix the shit on GarageBand. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Like, damn, like, but like, if I made that right now, bro, like crazy, I would be right. Here. Right shit, now. let's make some good. Pro- All right, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got nothing beats no more. Like that's when I wouldn't even buy beats then. Yeah. But like, yeah, that I mean, I, I, I did. I feel amazing. Twenty twenty in up north in uh, Pennsylvania, and shit. Okay, that's when I first had my daughter and shit. So that really put that fire under my ass. So, so two questions. So one, how was it living in in Pennsylvania just in general? Uh, it was different. I kind of fucked with it for real. I didn't really want to come back, but I just came back so my daughter could be with my uh, grandparents and shit, and they could be with the family. But. I liked it, bro, because nobody knew me. I could start over and shit. Yeah, and it was yeah. just like I'm Fresh a country talk. nigga from North Carolina, and everybody up there, like, as soon as I say something, oh, where you from? Yep. You must not be from here. Yep. Yeah. So as soon as you tell them I'm a rapper, they want to see what the fuck you got going on. So you rap a verse for them, they fuck with it. They like, okay, this boy's straight. Okay. So I mean, I really started getting fans up there, and everybody started wanting to fuck with me and shit because they didn't know me. Right. So right. it was just like I just yeah, kept pushing me, my same image. Yeah, I just kept pushing that same country nigga image. And they was fucking with it. So, I mean, I liked it. I'd go back any day for real. Okay, okay. And then the second question was, once you had your daughter, what did, what, <clears throat> I know that always puts like a battery in, you know, a lot of people's back. Yeah. What, what, what type of mindset are we at now in terms of rap now that we have, we have a kid involved? It's just more mature, bro. You just, you just, you grow up. You start seeing what you can rap about and it gives you more shit to rap about. You live more. Yeah. You got more motivation. You got more shit to damn live for and shit. So, I just always just put my daughters and shit first now. Like, even with my second child, like, she gave me another boost. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, I've been on a heater ever since. Right. So. Okay. Okay. I, yeah. I just love my kids for real. And then, Leek, um, what was our first song, first project sounding like? 
My first project, it wasn't even. Uh, what was your first project? No, it was the it wasn't even the one with the. the it Hennessy was small guy. world. It was small world. It was small world. My first project was small world. And what year was this? Probably 2021, 2020. Yeah. 2019, no, bro. 2019, bro. It was okay. 2019. before COVID. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was before, it was before COVID. <laughs> but uh, small world, bro. I was really just trying to get a tape out. I was wanting to see if I could write. Okay. A lot of songs. If I could write music, I can rap. But can you write music? That's the way big difference of this game. Like. It's a whole lot of rappers, but everybody can't make a song. Nah, yeah. So I was trying to facts. see if I can put a collective of songs together that kind of ride. Like you say, this was my first tape, so my production was ass. I made it on my uh on my iPad. I mean, on my uh Mac, and I ain't even have nobody mastered or nothing. I just was so just eager to drop it out. That's yeah. how I felt like drop that shit. And um, it really has some classic songs on there. Like I still go listen to Small World right now. Like I could tell I was being real creative. You know what I'm saying at that time, like. If you really go listen to it, the production, if you get past the production, yeah, yeah, yeah. you really be like, oh, it's some straight shit on here. Like, it was shit on there. People be like, yo, I'm fucking with that song. So, Small World was my first little tape, and I was just really trying to get a tape out. Can I really write a tape? I was trying to prove something to myself. Like, mm. can you write a tape? And I did. So, after I seen that, I was like, shit, I can kind of do it if I just take my time and sit down and write the tape. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when um, I know I know you have a little one as well. What what type two. of oh two? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. What um what mindset did that put you in, in terms of with rap music? Uh, it didn't really. I don't look at stuff like that. Like, like it didn't turn me up in rap. It it just made me really turn me up in the real life. Like oh yeah, yeah rap yeah, is yeah. like your getaway, right? To the real life. You know what I'm saying? Like. I got to take care of them and feed them and put clothes on their back and stuff. They ain't got shit to do with rap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But rap can make it a better and bigger, more lavish lifestyle. Gotcha. But, yeah. I ain't, I don't really put put that on my kids because if I fail, it was on me. Okay. If yeah. I was to fail at rap, it was on me. So, that, that's answer. my dream. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It, that, that ain't got nothing to do with them. I'm always take care of them. You For know sure. what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> and then with Jax... <clears throat> Excuse me, well, Ajax. Um, so what was what was your first record and, and first project? And um, how was it? My first project was uh, Dream Chasing. Um, that was like 2019. That was that was really when I was still in college. Um, right before COVID hit. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, that honestly was probably like one of my favorite albums to make. Um, my favorite song on there is Blow My High, which is crazy because. I made that song within like 20 minutes. Oh, dang. Um, I actually made the beat. I was making the beat. It's so crazy that I was making the beat before I went to the studio. I had a studio session at like 1 o'clock. I started making the beat at like 12. My laptop crashed. Mm. I had to reboot the laptop and make the I beat. rebuild the beat. Yeah, rebuild oh, the damn. beat all mm. over again and then go to the studio. Damn. And I made that song in like 20 minutes. And that was probably like, that's my favorite song on that album. Um, But a lot of people like my single Coasting on there. But that album right there was probably just a smooth album. It's just me just showing people that whatever you put your mind to, you can go, you know what I'm saying? You can do it. Dream chasing, bro. That's all it is, bro. Facts. That's really all it is. And when did you start When did you start producing? Uh, Probably like my, <coughs> my senior year in high school, that summer, going into college, my freshman year. Okay. Yeah. And, how, and how would you describe your 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 ear for like beats and sound? Like what uh, type of sound you'd be making? Shit, I started off with the trap wave. I'm not gonna lie. Um, we we'll love the trap wave. Started off with the trap wave, no cap. Like, so my homie he had uh, taught me how to um, he had taught me how to use loops and shit. So I started using loops and I made I started making trap beats. I took it off to college and niggas was like, "Yo, this shit hard as fuck. Like, you need to stick with this." Like, da 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 da. So I just stuck with it. But I mean, I've also expanded um a little bit towards R and B, um, sampling more. Now I'm starting to sample more. Um, but really, that's dope. Like, it's really like the Carolina trap. Yeah, can't, yeah, that's hard. Can't get away from. It. No, you can't get away from that. That's <laughs> hard. So y'all all grew up together, and y'all all started like really taking music serious right around the same time. And it was like, yeah, but it was, was like we never told each other. Yeah, that. it was that's what it was. Like, everybody was in their own pocket. Yeah, yeah, like, like, was it was like was it one of those things where like we all came kind of one room and just like okay, look, this is what I'm trying to do, or was it just kind of like just a mutual? Like, bro, I, got I see song. you taking it serious. I see you taking it serious. It so. was like I dropped the song, bro. Listen to this shit. Listen to it. Okay, what you think about it? Yeah, and we'd be like, damn, but this shit straight. Okay, that's dope. And after that, it was just like after that we we link up, we go to uh. Uh, what's it? Bean. He calls oh, yeah, right, right. himself some of your damn names. <laughs> he did. I call Freddy, him Bean. <laughs> Freddie Bean Bar, whatever. He had a little setup in his crib. And we just started going over started there, bro. Like, 
we we had we had a little bullshit warehouse job. They used to just be like, we'll we'll show up sometimes, and they'd be like, oh y'all, we don't need y'all to work today. Right. Fuck it, we'll leave and go record. Going to the studio. So it was just like <laughs> after we all got comfortable rapping and shit, that's when we linked up. We was never all comfortable rapping around each other because we just so heavy critics on each other. We'd be like, but that shit ass. Yeah. <laughs> but that's a, that. that's, yeah. Homies, yeah, like, that's a good thing though. That's good from your homies though. Yeah, that's a good thing. Would it be like? You need somebody that's gonna tell but you. But that shit to shake you up. You can't even rap. Yeah, it's yeah. like you get yeah. in front of Mike, you really can't. You just like, ah, right, my <laughs> boys in here. Yeah, you ain't never yeah. did it before, so you're just like, all right. We was all football players. We was all dances and shit, but it was just like we never really just sat down. Yeah, this is a whole different pocket. Rap, 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 yeah, this, rap, rap yeah, the whole rap. sixteen in front of your boys. Right. Of yeah, your, uh, so, it took me a minute to learn how to rap because yeah. I had started in my senior year. My boy Juice, mm. he was that was my influence. He had uh, he was rapping in class, and I was like, damn, you rapping? And then I was like, shit, I'm gonna have to go try and rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, I might can do it. And then it took. I, I was writing good, yeah. but I couldn't spit it though. I could write it but when you're trying to spit it. You ain't got no cadence and nothing. You be like, damn, this shit really yeah, hard. Trying to find find where your pocket is. You do rapping. Yeah, let me get back. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, how I say this? You be like, how I say this? He don't know. But um, yeah. But then we finally got comfortable rapping, and then what really turn you up is when you get it out and niggas be like, but you rapping though. You can spit. Yeah. You be like, all right. That's the hardest yeah. shit to get people to so, fuck with you. Like, okay, this nigga really. Rap. That is true. That is true. So at what point? At what point was y'all like, all right, let's start this collective? Like at what yeah, point? Yeah, yeah. When it was champion? I know you said well, you started no, with badass. badass. I'm sorry. Yeah. Badass. So, and where did that name come from? Also, uh, high school, bro. <laughs> we was just bad, bro. Like we was just some ruthless ass. We like I said, we ruthless but respectful, bro. So it's like we just like yeah, for real. We, we was just said. we just some badass kids, bro. But it's just like we do badass shit, but we still gonna do the right shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We but it's like we just ruthless, bro. Ruthless and rough as fuck, badass but it's shit. just like we just some badasses, bro. We not gonna get to. We ain't gonna try to get caught. Yeah, you feel so, me? We not doing nothing to get caught, so it's not loud, right? But you come in that basement, you gonna be like, oh, these boys oh, yeah. be terrorizing shit. Like they play rough. And then you remember World Trade, bro? Yeah, we did World Trade. We was like World Trade in high school. Yeah, that was the name of the collective. Like oh, we gonna okay. be World Trade. Okay. And, and even then, still to this day, it's just like we still got it. Like. Kind of like tell each other, bro. Let's let's do some group shit together. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, like yeah. we all still like to do our indie shit to this day. Because it's like we got so much talent, we got so much different visions and shit we want right. to do. It's just like we still got to tell ourselves, like, let's let's do some championship shit. Yeah. yeah. Let's get together and do some championship shit. Like that's what we still working on now. Like we still ain't did a full championship Take song yet. We ain't yeah. even did a full song yet. Yeah. So we still trying to yeah, work on that too. It. Yeah. So no, it's yeah. like. Everybody just been yeah, trying just, to just put out and, and staple their own image, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. which is good though, because <clears> everybody <throat> needs to like solidify themselves first facts, facts, before facts. you do the group shit. You gotta be able to pull right. each other apart, you know. Yeah, yeah, Scotty like, B is Scotty B, it's yeah, not Scotty yeah. B and always AJ, it's not leaking always. Because once you, know? you get in the group shit, if everybody, if you <laughs> blow as a group, it, it becomes harder to establish yourself as an independent artist. Yep. Yeah. So, like, yep. if you establish yourselves as independent artists first, facts. and y'all just have a collective on the back in the background. Then that's right. always going to be easier to push that way, um, because you have everybody brings their individual fan bases and uh -huh. shit. Yeah. Yep. Um, but at what point did it transition to championship music? Yeah, yeah. Uh, when did we go to championship? We went to championship. Like, I say probably like right, after, right after COVID. Right whenever COVID smacked. It was like in the middle mm -hmm. of COVID. Yeah, right when COVID smacked and shit, and like right whenever I started getting into my workout heavy again and shit. Like it was really every day, every day, every day, and just trying to just stick to a routine. I'm just like. Uh, we gonna stick to this championship, this championship of lifestyle. Attack the day. Yeah, attack the day, bro. <laughs> now, yes, better, bro. <laughs> it yeah. really started. This nigga, it really started out with some working out shit. Like, yeah, yeah. feel yeah. like a champion today. That's how he, yeah, yeah. you know, he gonna, he, he was gonna. Saying, uh, he was saying that every day, just about. Like, yeah, be a like, champ, bro. Like, like champion like champ lifestyle. Day. Work out, work out. You know. He, so. Nah, well. I will say you. Um, doesn't give you a flower. You know, you definitely, you know how to push someone, and and you know. You know how to make them think like they can do whatever they want. They can, Fact. you can really be a champion. Even just whenever I came to you about working out, I mean, I ain't, you know, I ain't know what I was doing. Yada yada. Fact. Started working out with you. You started motivating me to be like, you can really do this. You just got to seen the progress. Yeah, bro. you know, have the mindset. You, you know, to get in, stay consistent. Yada yada. But you know, I be feel like a champion. I'm like, you know, I'm, you I mean, I'm doing do it, it bro. Yeah, you just got to do it. So yourself, bro. you that's definitely know how to motivate someone for sure. So, um, and that's a great trait to have. Great trait to have. Um, let's talk about this tape. Yeah, Let's man. talk about it. So I do. Before we dive oh. into the newest tapes, yeah. I do want to talk about uh, some. Is it somewhere safe or someplace safe? Somewhere safe. Somewhere, somewhere safe. safe. Yeah. So that was the first time I really tapped into you, Thanks. and me and a few of the homies Same. came to your house. Yeah, first time I met y'all yeah. boys. Yeah, because because uh, Henry told me I he was DJ. Yeah, he was DJ some shit. Me Jones, uh, Kota, it was you Jones, Kota. Kota. and Austin. 
Nah, Austin was wasn't Austin there. No. Nah, Austin had to work that day. It was someone else. He wanted to it come. was somebody else. It was three of It was me. It was me, Jones, and Coda. Okay. I feel like it was somebody else. Nah. Nah, that was it. Okay. I mean, you wouldn't know. You had yeah. HB with you, I think. Yeah, that you, might yeah, be what I was like. That was another you person. Had, HB yeah, was yeah, with yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, because my ass got faded, and yeah. I had to let Coda drive <laughs> yeah. the car. Oh yeah, yeah. Was yeah. yeah. Person that gets drunk. I remember that. Me, and my but, girlfriend uh, just broke up the day like oh, that damn, morning. That, <laughs> that was right. Oh. That was crazy. Uh, well, I was in a different mode that day. Damn. Damn. Fuck it. <laughs> but uh, but now nah, we pulled up to that, and I was like, it was dope because you know what I'm saying. It was like our release party, and like your whole family. Right, that was dope, and that shit was mad dope, and like. Your family super dope, and like everybody was like mad friendly and shit. And that was when I was like, oh nah, these dudes dope. Like, and your whole the whole championship shit, like the whole clique was there. Yeah. Um, everybody performed like that shit was dope. And that's when I really tapped in. I was like, all right, bet. Like they got they got like a vision. Yeah, fact. that's when it I still could, took me like nah, a year to make got a vision. For real. Yeah, yeah, but that's when I could see like, oh, okay, they got a vision. They know they got a plan. It's not just motherfuckers. They rapping. know what they like yeah, trying yeah. to do. They know what they want to do. We yeah. always said that, bro. Like you got to be the people that actually like. You got to execute. Gotta, yeah, you got to do that shit, bro. Yeah. It's, it's hella people that just say, oh, I rap and just put yep. up a fucking freestyle video. Yep. Yeah, niggas, hella, hella people rap, bro. Like, it's yeah. like I tell Leek all the time, bro. It's fucking billion people out here in this world. But you got to do something. You, you got to do something to set yourself apart. Facts. And that was the first thing I saw from y'all that, like, set y'all apart in my mind. Because I know a lot of rappers in the guest on your area, but I had never seen no shit like that. Yeah, facts. Nah, I had never facts. seen somebody They never like, know how to execute. Yeah, like yeah. really take the time. Because people don't, people underestimate how hard it is to throw a show. Man, what? And like how much planning goes into it and that shit. And not easy. like when I saw y'all executed well, y'all whole family was there. Yeah. Um, Wish it was more people from the city out, but I mean, I, we still appreciate you know, it. That shit, that shit was packed though. That shit was packed. It was packed. Pack. Pack. I, I was about to say, honestly... Like the fact that y'all and I'm I'm gonna ask a question after this, but the fact that y'all had hella family there, I feel like when it comes to music and family, you're gonna have some okay, you know, you're doing the music thing. Okay, that's what's yeah. up. You How's know, little music going? Yeah, then you have some that's like, you know, hey nephew, you know, I'm really rocking with you, I'm gonna support you, blah blah blah. But to to connect that together with a question, how was it and when did your did all y'all's family or and close friends or so find out like about rapping? Like was it was it a they just kind of found out like through you know whether it was just a link or whatever yeah. or was it they uh, walked in like a studio session did you did you you know uh first time was whenever that so gone challenge popped out with the, oh, okay. the freestyle shit yeah. the monica shit and I, I did that shit on facebook and everybody was just like damn cuz rapping now okay and i'm just like okay. shit i mean after that then but like you know family members though Oh, yeah. Uh, I think, oh yeah. yeah, you rapping, but I think you should do something else. Of though. course, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. I it's, still get that to this yeah. day. So yeah. it's just like <laughs> that's crazy. Some no, of them, some of them believe it, some of them don't. Even my mama, like, it took her forever to fucking be like, they like. I mean, she called me Snook, and she was just like, bro, like Snook, you really doing this shit for real? Like, you good? Keep going. It's yeah. like, it's because for the longest she was just like, oh, you want to rap? Yeah. And I'm just like, yeah. She was like, you sure you gonna waste your time and drop out and rap? Right. I'm like, yeah, but I'm good though. Just, just stay patient, shit. So after that, she really believed in the after release party. Okay. Yeah. And okay. that's whenever she okay. was really like, okay, shit, I want to be a manager. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, right. So that was really, I mean, I, th I think it's about the same way. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, yeah, even Jack, his mom was the same way. Like, that, that, that's, and that's a long time from when we started, too, bro. Yeah. Because yeah. we had, I was going to say they kind of got a taste of it when we dropped that Swish. Facts. We dropped this video called oh, Swish, yeah, yeah. and the city was oh, like, I know what damn, that song video we good. Dropped. They was like, that song and video looked so good. Yeah, but video was good. But it was yeah. still like, you after, still look at, delusional. Yeah, because after a week, they'd be like, okay. You yeah. know, after a week, y'all need a nice what's, video. What's next? Yeah, yeah. yeah. you got to, so, you know. So, back to work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so. But after that party, though, they would, I think everybody seen it. Like what you saying, like, this the first time we even hearing, like, our flowers get gave to us for that party. Like, yeah. I ain't know people was really looking at it like that. Like, Oh, yeah, bro, that shit was dope. Shit. I appreciate yeah. y'all letting me DJ and that I, And shit. I know they liked dope. it, and I knew it was fun, but y'all are like, from hearing it from y'all, it's different. Yeah. But oh like, yeah, we we as, definitely have like talked about that. Yeah, <laughs> like, and like as a, especially like a, like after that like that time, you know what I'm saying? Like the next day, I was like, damn, that shit was really dope. Yeah, like yeah, that shit and, was uh, dope. Because the only people like. The, I had never seen anybody take it serious like I would say we take it serious. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like that was the first time I'd been around a group of people that are like, oh that no, believe. they really they really putting the work into this Fresh. shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because up until that point, the only shit I had ever been to was shit we was doing. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. And I was like, oh, other people's concerts type. Right. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like you know, famous people concerts. That was yeah. like one of the first times like that I was at a show and like I don't have any involvement. You know, yeah. like I don't. I'm not the brains behind. It. I'm like. 
I'm going to DJ like a, a release party. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, you yeah. know, is this your shit? Like, nah, this ain't my shit. You yeah. know, this, this is for someone else. And well, that shit was that shit was mad dope. That shit like, was dope. Um, appreciate it was it, man. especially to have like the pictures um, blown up and your yeah. album cover. Like that was dope. I thought yeah. that was good detail. Yeah, definitely appreciate executed it. well. Yeah, appreciate that was a good detail. Um, and um, then, but yeah, so so somewhere self mm, somewhere safe drop. Uh, and then you know we moved to uh, 2024. We got cozy raps. Uh, yeah. Scotty B. That that is my favorite project. Gotta take you. the mask off for Cozy. For sure. man. I, I okay. wouldn't even care at the Cozy rap. Right. Man. Nah, hang on. Before we get into it, uh, what's up with the what's up with the shiesties? Oh yeah, uh, so, can we see, get some explanation just, just, behind uh, the shiesties? We just in character, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, just, tell them about tell them about the, the wrestler character. Lee. Tell them okay, I'm gonna tell y'all how, how you can be dope as fuck. Tell them, man. Okay. So like, <laughs> if you ever looked at a wrestler, your favorite papers. your favorite wrestler always comes out in the same outfit, right? Just like yeah, a cartoon yeah, yeah. character, Ray Mysterio. If you Ray Mysterio, Undertaker, Fair. Kane, they got the same. That's how you know them. Yeah. If you seen them on the street, you know Kane by his outfit. Yep. If you look, Kanye was doing it for a little bit. Yeah, he was. When he did the boots and the black, you remember he had the big black boots and the black uh, jeans with the tank, I think. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he yeah. He did that shit like two weeks straight, the same outfit. It's a, it's the he, uniform. Went to the, he went it's to the football game with the shit with the shit. You with that shit on. And it was a uniform. I'm like, that's when I clicked in my head, like, damn, this shit dope. He like a wrestler. Yeah. Like, every you going to know where Kanye, like, if you see these masks, you're going to be like, that's chapter shit music. Cause that's gangster shit. Yeah, that we know them boys. It's, it's part of the propaganda, it's the, the brand. It's, the it's the part of the pushing. It. It's the you. uniform. Yeah. That's cool. That's but cool. It's that's the cool. uniform for this tape. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's this era. Yeah, we in this era. Well, that's okay. um said. That's very um, well said. For okay. anybody that ever wonder why we're all black all the time, you just got your answer. It's your uniform. Because <laughs> I, like, I was like, that's fair. It's just like a video game or something. Yeah. Like, I had got to a point where I was like, man, Jack, I might just wear the same shit everywhere you see me. Like, always in that same shit. Yeah. You'll know it's me. Yeah. And I might just do this. This is this is the special uniform. You know how you on the wrestling, you win that extra uniform. Yeah. Or you like you know, yeah, you yeah, like, it, like, it, like it. Yeah. That's what that would be my gangster shit. Like a Mortal Kombat, you could switch me to this. You I know, you. that's or, dope. Or, that's or, all, the, all the all the other tape. So good reasoning. You yeah. feel me? You, can't, you know that's just some sauce for y'all. Yeah, there, just man. like the same way. It's like I'm the cozy rapper. I right. try to give you that straight image. I'm just cozy. Every time yeah. you see me, I'm on some chill shit. I'm on some cozy shit. I ain't trying to do too much, you know what I'm saying? So it's just um, an image. But also, but, that's that's not really an image for you though. Well, like because, that's kind of nah, that's kind of just like who you are. I, I mean, that, I mean, yeah, it's dope. <laughs> but that's what makes yeah. it dope too, though, because it's like because you just mad. Calm, if you look but, at it like a video game or something, like that's who he is. That's yeah. that. That's that. I can't put too much sauce on it. That's that anime shit I was telling yeah. y'all about. But mm. that, that's also you, that authenticity. You, you that's know what the I'm saying? So this is who I am. This is who like, I am. But yeah. that's that shit I was saying. Like, you throw an anime show, just like you know every character because of what they do, who they are, and shit like that. Yeah. That's how it would do something on the whole history of hip hop. Because Biggie was that player. Tupac was that gangster, that image. Drake is that really that lover boy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Gucci Mane <clears throat> is that real hood nigga. You know what right. I'm saying? He really yeah. that hood nigga. Sexy red. Yeah. You, yeah. Like, you get to know sexy red, she ain't even going to act that ratchet. Right, but she yeah. understand this is appealing to the ratchet. For yeah. sure. So she always show up with something ratchet on. Even at the barbershop shit with LeBron, she had a cleavage out. She ratchet. that was um that was good. I watched that. That was real good. Yeah, that was good. Was awesome. So and then I heard you know three K always say under three thousand always say you should look like what the music sound like. Yeah. So mm. I was telling him when we was naming the tape, we were listening to it. We were just listening to the playlist. What do this shit sound like? Just throwing names out there. Then he said, I said, this shit just so smooth. You can ride to it in, some, in a caddy or something. Like, yeah. this some gangster shit. Huh. And it ain't no thug out gangster. It's, yeah. it's some real gangster shit. Like, gangster shit is a real shit gangster. Like a, business, yeah, bro. like like uh, St. Patrick. Like, ghost, shit ain't you know, always thuggish, yeah. man. It ain't thuggish. Yeah. Ghost was a thug. Ghost was running for the damn. He a businessman. Yeah, he's a yeah. businessman. Like, real gangsters, you don't see the real gangsters. Yeah, I, nah. They doing the gangster shit. I remember when um when y'all were um pitching a video idea, a promo to me um at the gym, and I, I just remember y'all were saying like what was the idea? Um y'all was like on the porch. I think y'all was on the porch and it was something dealing with like Y'all wanted the promo to be where it's like y'all. It's called gangster shit, but y'all not like doing gangster oh, shit. Oh yeah, how we was gonna do it? Like we was like we was on a porch and it was like a drive by type. Yeah, shit yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. we looking like what the fuck? But then it was gonna be one of like either me or Leek. I'm actually pulling up to him like, bro, what's up? You trying to hit the stool? Correct. That's, that's, what, like it that. that's yeah, what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. Mm-hmm. And it's just like you just standing on shit, bro. You, you doing your shit, gangster shit. You taking care of your kids. If it's going to work every day, if it's 
just damn working out every day. If you just damn, you know what I'm saying? Yes, and that's that's what yeah, gangster shit just, is. Yeah, gangster shit, stand on business, bro. You ain't always got to pull a gun out. You ain't always got to try to be the hardest nigga out here, bro, to be a gangster. Because in the main time, the softest niggas out here. They are. And they the ones Them the die. soldiers. Yeah. See, the gangster, right the gangster ain't doing all that. <laughs> so it's like, the, the soldier doing all gangster that. Yeah. The gangster yeah. behind the scenes. Yeah. Man, we, the ground, we the groundwork of this. Like, we this, this is what it is. We really like some gangsters, how we plan this out, execute it, attack it. We taking over the game, and and you know music is one of the best ways to make money in the world. What's yes. it? Intellectual property. Yeah, correct. Like one of the top five ways to be wealthy. Something like, that can never be taken. From never you. be yeah. taken. Facts. It's in you. Yeah. It's intellectual property. So, um, so just just looking through the chat list. So first of all, the cover hard. Uh, that whenever, cover was hard. Whenever Scotty mm-hmm. sends it to me, um, I got to shoot it, and and I appreciate y'all letting me shoot that. But drop the bomb for it. Drop the bomb uh, for it. Yeah, no, facts, facts, facts. <laughs> <laughs> whenever, um. Oh, oh, drop. <laughs> <laughs> whenever <laughs> Scotty said whenever I asked, I was like, you know, what's the cover gonna be? He said that I was like, good. That's what I wanted it to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I gave you like hard. four different options or something, but that shit was um, fun. That shit yeah, was that hard. was a um, dope promo, and y'all were the brains behind all that. Y'all directed that entire thing. Dope promo. Uh, we shot two videos, two and a promo, two videos. And we promo. did the freestyle too, right? Yeah, the freestyle counters too with the. Uh, the red button. Red button. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Three. So, I'm going to count that as three. I'm going to count that as three. So, uh, three video. We did a promo. Didn't y'all record and shoot that video on the same day? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, we y'all, did y'all recorded the song and, and then we shot went up the video. There, yeah, yeah. Oh, y'all recorded the song that day? I yeah, we know. was here with Tanner. Then yeah, we, we did red button and yeah. went to the... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah. That's dope. Facts. Appreciate um, Tanner, too. For sure. Yeah, so Tanner, you got to engineer. You got to engineer this entire project. Yeah, this shit was fun to make, too. Appreciate that. Yeah, for sure. We just be having like, but. We just have fun when we make music, whether Thanks. it's like both of y'all or if it's just we just being there joking just, around, yeah. bro. Like we just be, and we, we always get on like an hour long hip hop debate about something. So, <laughs> that, was, that was gonna be my next question was, um, so it's nine tracks we have, uh, all Scotty B, all League Magic. So how was it creating this, just in terms of the studio coming up with the ideas, um, picking out beats? How was how was it working together as y'all's first duo project? Uh, beats was, I mean, that shit just come naturally, bro. Like we got a good. Archive of producers, bro. That, that caddy we, that was we, that we crazy. Fuck with. And yeah, uh, was so crazy. the beats, the I mean, if you can get easy good beats, that that's the best part. That right. makes everything else easier. And then we just came in like, we could pull up on him. We'll we'll smoke. We'll go over beats. We'll rap and shit. Whatever hook we like best, we'll both try hook and shit. You know what I'm saying? Correct. Whichever one we like best, we go with it. And then after that, we did most of our creativity shit in here with Tanner and shit too. And it was just like, with most of the songs on the back end, what we do with reverse them or. Slowed it down or some shit. Yeah, we just we yeah. just doing weird shit. We just doing shit. Just yeah, trying shit. And then like we was doing one track under fire. That was like our funnest track we made. It was so many vocals to that shit. <laughs> that like shit we even gave Tanner task to the shit, and he was just like, "Bro, I gotta figure this shit out." <laughs> and like once he did, I, think I was there perfect. for that studio session. I know I was there for yeah. Victory when y'all made Victory, but um, I remember there was something where like Tanner got like it was like a challenge. You had to do maybe some effect, or you had to do like something. Uh, I forgot what it was, but. You didn't know how to do it, so you had to figure out how to do it. It might have been the under fire. I forgot um, what it was for. I, I don't know, but like, yeah, y'all it was showed, something y'all you showed me. Out. Yeah, y'all showed me like a reference or something, and I was like, I don't know how to make that effect, but I figured it out. Yeah, yeah I was we, there we that day. I was there some there that day. We, we get time some shit to work with. So it's just like, I mean, it was fun as shit, bro. It was yep. fun as hell just to come in here and just be creative like that. Like we look forward to doing the next one like that too. So, yep. Jax, were you in the room while a lot while they were making this project? Yeah, yeah, Jack, yeah, you was there a, for a couple a songs. A few times, um, but it's crazy because I didn't know that the songs were for the project. Like, I didn't hear none of the songs until yeah, it actually dropped. Yeah, he didn't hear drop. shit until it dropped. Oh, that's wow. awesome. I mean, but, I mean, that's kind of cool, though. But at the same time, I really didn't want to. Yeah, like, yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, I want to hear it when everybody else hear it, just to give my honest opinion on it. So, yeah. I mean, that was cool that, um, but when I was in the sessions, I didn't know that that's what it, what it was for. Got you. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then, uh, Lee, how was it? How was it just, just making this project with Scotty? It was lit, man. It was uh, seeing what we've been working on come to life for real, especially when we got with Tanner, like, because we had had most of these songs wrote out and shit, rough drafts. So hella rough drafts. Hella rough drafts. We've been doing this like these songs coming together is so crazy because when we was making these songs, we was not thinking about this tape. Yeah, how long? <laughs> just like how long was this? Was the making of this project? From COVID like till now. months, From COVID, years, bro. From COVID, COVID till From now, COVID, bro. It's like we was <laughs> doing all our own thing still. Like we was taking breaks and. Just like fuck it, we just gonna do all the thing. We ain't know when we was gonna drop it. We have a name for it, none of that shit. So it was just like, just when it happens, it happens. Yeah, when it happened, it happened. It was just perfect timing, bro. And everything just came together. We just didn't rush it. 
That's yeah. And we just was writing that shit up and then it was lit in the studio. Like every studio session was really like lit. Like, that shit we was, was fun, laughing. Yeah, like yeah, Tanner always just be like, Y'all boys so goofy. We really in there just having a great time. Listen to the end of Under Fire, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> we laughed for like, thirty minutes about the end of that that's song. Great. Bro. Just laughing, bro. <laughs> Just this is natural, bro. Just natural, just yeah. fun, bro. Natural fun, bro. That's it's fun, I, just rapping. Fun. That's how a studio session should be, definitely. You want to have fun. It's not just strictly like work. Yeah, you, you know, it's work. We got to leave. Bro. Yeah, and that's like, like definitely when, and because uh, Scotty started coming first because yeah. um, we was working on Cozy Raps or whatever. Right. And then I think Ajax pulled up to do the hook. Off for I do. All do. Yeah, that was the first time I, I met you. Right yeah. And then uh, sure. and then Leek pulled up to do laps. Uh-huh. Yeah, and I was like, oh, now these boys funny. Yeah, because right? like they we are just, funny. We just in there kicking it, like you know what I'm saying. It felt like, and it was like some real natural shit too. Thanks. It was like all organic, like we all just naturally got along. Like, yeah, we can just chop so, it up, tell each other what we don't like and like, and yeah, nobody gonna take it no yeah. kind of way, bro. Just like, and like everybody work, was like, bro. everybody was like super professional. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. And it was like, yeah, nah, this is dope. And so then we got work. we got two hard ass projects out of it. So nah, like, facts. Yeah, I think the I think the um, <clears throat> we're gonna get a lot more projects out of it too. <laughs> Actual. So rapping I still got something yeah. coming. I'm going to hear tomorrow. The rapping ability on this project was was phenomenal for sure. I uh, when it first dropped, I think I was work, I think I worked out to it whenever it first dropped, and I was like, damn, this shit is hard. <laughs> like yeah, this shit is fire. Sure. Boys is definitely going. Yeah, sure. I can tell y'all definitely. This wasn't like a rush project. Y'all had some thought. Y'all had a y'all had a um y'all had a concept, you know, and y'all stuck with it. Okay, and wait, so what's y'all's favorite song though? <laughs> my my favorite song is Caddy. Gangsta shit okay. or Cozy oh, Rap? Yeah, gangsta. Either. Gangsta shit. Both. Yeah. Mm, that's I hard can, for me because I, I heard you, all of them like a hundred times. I already know Cozy. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, already know cozy. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was like, Bradley, mine is nine seventeen twenty five, Scotty B. I told him the night that dropped. Yeah. I facts. said this, this this song is like that crazy. Shit, no, Everything else good, mm-hmm. but this this is crazy right here yeah. for um on oh, gangster shit. My favorite might be Veranda. Facts. I can't lie, Let's that go. That's my crazy. shit, boy. I like that caddy. Nah, that caddy go that caddy, 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 caddy too. No, no crazy that too though. Yeah, no, very no, crazy, hard. Bro. These shits are hard. Also, <laughs> also leak. I ran your project the other day. Um, give them gang. Give them the gang. And uh, winning is my favorite track off there. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. I ran that joint. Yeah. Um, you gotta go run it in my head too, though. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. My facts. I do. I do. Yeah. I feel like I. Let me see. I feel like I, Cozy raps. What's my favorite song? On Cozy raps. Is this either GTA or Goat? G GTA is yeah. tough. I GTA, still want to shoot a video yeah, today. I gotta shoot a video. Gotta get, we gotta go to Miami or it's, something. It's, shoot that video. It's that's crazy. Crazy. Go that's go we gotta be in Vice City. It's crazy Vice because City. it's crazy because um, GTA really that does sound like a GTA oh, track. Bro. Like that beat bro. was perfect. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. was that was perfect. Shout out to my boy uh, Quanley Beats. Yeah. yeah. How that, we gonna we gotta figure out how to get that on GTA Six? No, right. And it's here. And it's here, Florida. Yeah. Yeah. That shit. Yeah, that shit's hard to, as hell. We're gonna have to get some sync license. Anybody to do sync license, hit us up. <laughs> yes, please. Yeah. Rockstar, somebody. I need that at GTA for real. That yeah, shit nah, is hard. If that I play that out, on if a come on on the radio. Bro. Yeah, I play that on a constant. That's um, so much bread too. That's man. Gonna <laughs> boy, 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 what? And it's like uh, anything really possible. You can do that shit, bro. Oh yeah, anything is possible. Anything like that, that man definitely thinks can. So if he can achieve. <laughs> yeah, GTA will be on GTA Rockstar. Six. We're gonna go ahead. And, we're gonna Rockstar go ahead and throw that out in the universe. Yeah, yeah, we need that for sure. Yeah, because that shit would be crazy. Facts. Um, let me ask you this: What's your favorite track on on Cozy Raps and Gangsta Shit? My favorite track on Cozy is "Don't Let Up." Mm. Okay, good. Yeah, that, that's good. And that's I just fun. feel like that's just like a a good ass complete song from like a verse hook bridge. Even like whenever we made the shit, like yeah. I feel like that's just a good ass song. That shit came together. That shit sounded tough on the rough mix. Yeah, like when we like first laid it down, I Facts. was like, "Oh no, nah, this shit right here hard." And, and I then, feel like that's like the most slept song on there. Yeah, and off um, gangster shit. Uh, I like Caddy and I like I like Veranda, bro. Veranda really my shit. That is a good track though. That's uh, hard. <clears throat> Caddy's my shit though. Yeah, <laughs> Caddy hard too. Though. I love Caddy. Um, Jax, what's your favorite track on gangster shit? And why? Gangster shit is Caddy. Bro, that yeah. beat is just so crazy. Yeah, Damn, that, that shit so, is tough. Who made that, who so made that beat? Caddy, like, uh, <laughs> my boy Kwanley made it. Oh, okay, yeah. When I first heard that beat, I was just like, oh, yeah, this is it. Yeah, that shit this tough. Is. Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> that shit is tough. Um, and then, Lee, what's your favorite track off of Uh, Probably Under Fire. Mm, mm. Okay, okay. That um, shit was fun to make. Yeah, that was just shit All was them background fun. vocals, bro, that shit was hilarious. And then another question for y'all. What... Which one of these tracks has a good story? I'm tired of these hoes. <laughs> uh, laps. 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 Laps probably got the best in like story. I don't know though, man, because Laps is hard because it's, it's kind of telling about 
my half for first for like for my, for my verse. Okay. Veranda is really a good verse too because that's like telling both like how we both feel on some shit like looking over just just looking out on some shit how we felt. Mm-hmm. Uh, what you think, Lee? Uh, you said what? Like, like, um, like what's the like? What's the best? Um, I guess like maybe your favorite verse or best story that you best told storytelling for yeah. on this project. Mm, something mm. that can reflect the most on you off yeah. the shit. I, it's crazy because it ain't people probably don't think this, but mine is under fire because at the time when I wrote that shit, like the shit I'm really saying is yeah. crazy. If you listen to it, like my people were really going through a divorce. Mm. So I'm really telling how I feel about marriage. Like that's just my favorite verse. Like when I rapped that right there, I was rapping. Like even he was like, "Boy, you rapping your ass off." Yeah, like, and I was just on some fun shit. That was so fun to me. Like when yeah, I first was, read, yeah. and I was just it was really off the. It was like that, bro. That's that's one of them beats that just really touched me. As soon as I heard, it, and I really start spitting. Like yeah, and we went on a saying? we went on a trip to go rap that shit. Yeah, we we went saying? to uh, Virginia. Oh, we linked up with the dude that made the beat. We linked up with him. And yeah. we, st- we, we we rapped for like twenty four hours, bro. Yeah, we, we went up. like all night, bro. <laughs> yeah, making music, hard. and that was one of them ones that just hit me like it was just so second nature. Mm. Like it just I spit that shit, and it was so versatile to me at the time. If yeah. you listen to the flow, I'm really going to get it. So I like that, and I like laps. Like laps, I'm really telling how I feel. Like mm. laps, 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 just laps really is how hard. I feel. Too. If you know us, you'll really fuck with laps. Yeah, if you really know, yeah. we talk about and shit. Like, was there any song that almost didn't make the final track list? Or was uh, everything meant to be on here? A uh, hey. Probably a hey. Probably, probably the really? one that was that probably wasn't gonna make it. We we thought about it like uh we could we, we can ditch that beat. Yeah, that's yeah, that's all we fought was cause the beat was so hard that and it was, was just hard. cause like the raps too. It was just raw. Raw as fuck. That's why mm-hmm. I feel like we kinda different too, cause we just give you straight raw raps. Like mm-hmm. we say shit that niggas are scared to say. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. and that's like on a hey, that's some shit. Cause it's just like we just we was just rapping our mind, bro. And it was just like just back and forth ping ponging. Y'all was popping shit on there though. And yeah. it's just yeah. like and yeah. it's transparency. Like yeah. That's what that's the thing about it is we rap so transparent. We'd tell you about some shit like damn did you just tell us that? Like yeah. like on no no, you know what I'm saying? Like when I was talking about the light supposed to be cut off tomorrow and shit. That shit real bro. Yeah. I'm really rapping like light supposed to be off tomorrow. Like what I'm gonna do, you know what I'm saying? I gotta right. get to it. But I don't like I was saying, like I ain't phased. I can tell you because I don't care how what you think about. Me. Oh yeah, yeah. great. Because like somebody else going to the same shit. Yeah, because somebody's going to the same shit. They just scared to say it. Yeah. And yeah. That, nothing like that is like. And that's, that's gangsta it's shit. It's no shame and shit. Yeah, that's gangsta that's shit. Gangsta that's gangsta shit. That's gangsta figuring it out. You find that shit out. You figuring it out. And then because everybody not paying light bills, bro. Right. A lot of people not paying light bills, bro. So niggas who paying light bills know like this nigga, he living out here. This a grown man. Like I'm telling you, I'm telling you, shit like that is grown. That's why I can tell you like I done been late on my lights. My lights done got cut off. Right. I don't give a damn because you gonna get in that real world and see. Everything ain't always perfect. Nah, facts. You, you think you, being, facts. you ain't on top facts, of everything facts. like you think. Yeah, yeah. That's a um, good good mindset. Good mindset. Yeah, you gotta be transparent. <laughs> yeah. don't you? you got that's to. People you got going to. through it too. That's yeah, why that's people right. can't get through shit because they scared to tell what they going through. Yeah, they you'll, are. Be, you'll be with somebody who don't went through it can tell you how to get through it. Everybody too proud. Can tell facts, you what bro. to do. Some they shit. Gonna, just, they gonna, like, they everybody too proud. I got yeah. too much pride. And if everybody got too much pride, who the fuck you gonna relate to? Nah, facts. Soon as you, soon as you let that pride down, bro, it's just like a whole new chamber just unlocks. You gotta, you have to. You can breathe now. I've never been there before. You know, you really gotta drop your pride. Just drop your pride. Like it's okay. You don't have to. Beat this person, but you know. You, you don't have to. But people be trying to put on for everybody else. Yes, yes. 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 He, he just said it. <laughs> and that's <laughs> it. Get, it get heavy on you trying to just fake it and shit. It sure do. Cause it one day, really one day you go, you gonna collapse. One day you gonna get exposed. Time yeah, don't that lie. too. It's time. time, time don't you lie. gonna get exposed. Yeah, yeah, the, the truth, hey, truth comes to light. Every yeah, the truth always comes to light. You can't beat it. You can't. Facts. Um, and then just for for um individuals, what's next from everybody? What what we got coming up next? This 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 the second half of twenty twenty four. You know how we how how we going out? Uh, shit, man. What I got next? I'm just really just trying to, like I said, I'm, I'm working on some shit with Tanner Steel, connections, trying to get out of here. Really, sure. man. I'm in just, time. Yeah, I mean, I'm just really just down, trying to just set everything up in in the order that I really need to, and not rush shit, and just do it the right way. Cause I, I like I don't fucked up plenty of times trying to rush shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Same. I'm just learning from all my mistakes still, and just still trying to make the right moves for real. Okay, okay. But yeah, y'all stay tuned for some shit, though, man. I got some shit coming up for y'all. I already shit. know. Some hard shit. You, I already know. I'm ready for it. Uh, Jax, what about you? Shit, I'm actually working on an R&B tape. 
Yeah. Word. Uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm 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 put the vocals to the test. You know what I'm saying? Um, no rapping, just straight singing. Um, but I'm also working on another tape after that as well. Um, and then also trying to get us to make this damn championship. Yeah, team. we need yeah, that. That's the championship need, dude uh, right uh, here. He wants to do it so bad. Like, for sure. so after that, that's about it. Just working on three different projects. Damn. Me, uh, well, I got my, I got this freestyle tape coming out, yard work. I just did with Tanner. No word, okay. I just finished that just to give people the lyrical practice, give people the lyrics like Wayne Lyric did. Exercise. Yeah, it ain't got to be music. It just be something they already know. Yep. And they be like, let me see how he rapping. Yep. That's how you get a lot of fans, and that's what I'm working on right now. I want, I want some fans, man. We got fans, and I'm saying I want to keep building my fan Correct. base. Organic fans. Organic, organic fans. Uh, organic fan base. I want really you people can to like some. me. I want, <laughs> you can. <laughs> Couple thousand dollars. Yeah, you, you, can, you can pay for some fans if you really want some fans, but I'm, like you said, organic. You know, that's, just, that's the best way. I want to work on an organic fan base. I want to, uh, so I want people to like us, man. Like, really fuck with us. Like, I want to be a, a, a cult. You want a cult fan base? I want to cook for they listen to whatever you do. Like how yeah. Wu Tang had. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. like a cult fan base. Drake, Drake. Um, Cole, Drake. Our future. Yeah. 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 Tyler, all, all, all 3K. 3K. Yeah. You yeah, yeah, don't fucking play the damn yeah. flute. You feel me? That's <laughs> cold. Hey, they they going to accept it. Yeah. And really, like, I want to be. I, I want to drop the freestyle take so people know, like, this boy is really spitting. He really got cadence. Like, he really rap. You know, just just this is a real rap tape to show I can rap. And, you know, we're working on our shit. And, like, uh, like AJ say, really building that championship coat. Like that's good. Cause that's like, I, I love us together, bro. Oh yeah, yeah. like yeah. That, I, like I know everybody got to do their indie tapes, but I really love us together. Yeah, yeah. I look because I think I people love us together. Like for yeah. sure, it, for and sure. it give everybody like <clears throat> different shit. Yeah. You know, sometimes everybody don't want to hear that same voice. Same song. shit. Yeah. 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 Straight, you know, for a whole yeah. album. Yeah, yeah. they want to hear different people on that shit too. So. Plus, right. y'all y'all compliment each other really well. Like y'all yeah, voices go good together. Yeah. Gangs of shit definitely proved that. Yeah. like one hundred percent that y'all can, you know, hop on each other's track and really yeah. in it. And, and it that, ca- like that chemistry is there, like yeah, just because yeah, y'all yeah, known each other so long. And we create like yeah. we so bro- we both creative. We all three creative together. Like a yeah. lot of times we create like if we don't create the songs in the studio, we actually sit down and write before we actually get here. A lot of times. So does everybody write? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 I hate freestyling, bro. Yeah. Why is that? I just feel like I can just really get out what all I need to get out when it, with my mind. You know what I'm saying? Like write it all at one time. Cause I like to smoke. I smoke. I chill. Get I go therapy. through go through what I go through for the day. Go through what I go through for the week. Go through what I go through for the month. Sit my ass down. Put all that. I, mean, I make notes on my phone too. Shit that actually bothers me that I want to talk about and shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. So I do shit like that. Sit down. Put all that shit together, bro. I just don't like doing. I mean, after a while, I started doing little punch ins. I just started doing punch ins for real. But like, that's after I still do right. And right. that's still wrote. Yeah, that's still wrote. You just punching in. Correct. That's more right. for the cadence. You write. You writing it on the mic. Yeah. 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 But I, I'm really working on. Um, I practice freestyle though. Yeah. My next. My next level. I'm trying to get to the next level of rap where I'm trying to be able to off the head, but it's not reckless. It's just yeah, it, it sounds yeah, like right, what I wrote. Right. right. It sounds you know, like, just like saying shit for real. Yeah. Freestyle and just be saying shit. Right? They're just saying yeah, shit. Yeah, just trying to make yeah. it rhyme. Yeah. 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 I'm trying to learn how to freestyle but I can like really freestyle. Cause you can do it, and I'm yeah. just—that's the next level I'm trying to get to. Like that as a, a whole rapper, new level. that's y'all a whole think, new level. Y'all think Wayne really damn off the header like that, or y'all think he got, he got a whole lot of throwaways? Nah, he off the head. Off the head. I think after oh, all, I think, like, after think, all these years, like bro, that's that guy can really do. Yeah, I think he got a he for sure got a lot of throwaways. Anybody, anybody, head, anybody. Yeah. but also people get it confused. And Wayne and Jay Z fucked everybody up and made everybody suck. Um, cause. They not freestyling. They not one taking their verses, bro. Like they not. They not like just put the beat on and saying some shit. Facts. You know what I'm saying? They doing line, line, line or two at a time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like these, but they gated. They got it in everybody's head that, oh no, nah, they just punch. They just run it. They, they making people run. thinking. Yeah, bro. Like, they not freestyling. But right? now somebody who doing that though would make me really want to do like Tory Lane. Yeah. He is really coming. And there's off a lot of head. And like, there's a lot of singers that can do that. Just because it's a lot too. Juice slower. World. Juice World. Juice World was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Juice World was insane. Yeah, he probably R. the best freestyle I've ever real. seen. And I, yeah. I, I'd be like, how the fuck? Yeah. That's what I'd be thinking of. Because like, that one joint, then he got off like an hour. Yeah, Tim Westwood. Like this. Yeah, yeah but that's crazy. Yeah, so yeah, that's see, that's what I'm trying to work. That's the next level in rap. What? That's like. That's Super Sam. Yeah, that's a different. That's a different. Think that. I don't run out of words. You really gotta probably throw me some words, and then I could probably, I might can do it, but like. 
I look at it like I'm gonna throw you some dry ass raps in them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because sure. like, yeah. yeah. yeah, like when you learn it, see, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to learn it. Then yeah. when I learn it, I'm gonna have to master it. So I have to keep practicing it. But yeah. when I look at people like that, I just feel like their mind is like, like it's yeah. coming, bro. Right. And they not, what they not doing is second guessing what they gotta say. No. Yeah. And they saying what they wanna say. Like, I'm yeah. sitting here on this couch and I'm yelling on And they saying it. They yeah. just gonna throw some. But see when throw you, some rhyming in there. But see when you get to that point, you're not even you're not even thinking no more. Mm -hmm. like, That's why I said no you're thought, not thinking. There's no thought that goes into it. It's just it's you're all feeling. It's, like, yeah, it's, it's all, it's all just, feeling. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. So that'd be dope if I can get there. Okay, well I'll say you will get there. That's a different type <laughs> of talent right there. Yeah. That's talent. That is that is a crazy crazy talent right there. Yeah. But um, that's all I got for y'all boys today. Um, Tanner. Shit, y'all got anything else? Yeah, is there anything I didn't ask or talk about that y'all want to go? Next time y'all come up here, we debating hip hop. Oh, yeah. yeah today was the interview. Today was the interview. Today was the interview. Next we, time. Bro, we need like a, like a, um, it's like special episodes. Bro. That's going to be like, debate. bro, that's going to be like a three hour episode. <clears throat> like, it's just debate. Like, bro. like we're, today we are here to debate. Yeah, bro. you an hourglass, you, you flip that motherfucker, we debate. Though, too. Yeah, 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 bracket, yeah. Bro, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it needs a bracket, it needs a bracket. But like, we did. But the first episode was y'all. Me, Leek, and Scotty debated for an hour and a half in the studio. After the studio. In the studio, in middle of the studio. boys here till midnight. The fuck? Everything. We done did basketball. Yeah. We might debate. Hey, y'all heard of, hey, the first episode of the debate series is going to be with these three right here. I need what's your name in here too, man. Coach Martin, bro. I need uh -oh. you in here on the debate. I'm uh -oh. calling I'm you out. You, I'm telling you, you know I'm going to put, I'm gonna put yeah, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, yeah, we're like gonna, that, that's I'm what's going to happen. I, yeah, like next that. month. Yeah, because that's going to be a four-hour episode. I'm going to let them two go in. <laughs> I'm going to let Leek and Coach go in. I need, no, I need, no, need hip-hop heads in here that's really nah, good. Nah, facts, facts. Like, we're going to talk hip-hop. Let's talk hip-hop. For real. Yeah. Let's talk. For real. Let's throw everything on the yeah, table. Yeah, we're going to do that. Yeah, yep. next month. We're going to do that. So y'all no, tune in. Y'all tune Let's go ahead and put a date. Next month is going to happen. Shout out to Coach too, man. Nah, shout out to Coach for sure. Go get his project. But, um... Fellas, we appreciate y'all for sure. We appreciate y'all. Championship okay, music man. in the building always. This shit was overdue. Oh yeah, way, way overdue. overdue. Fast. Way overdue. Way overdue. I think I told, I think I told Scotty. I was like, we need to have y'all on the pod. What are y'all free? <laughs> what are y'all free? Like I'm tired of, I'm tired of BS. It was time. What are y'all free? Facts. I was what wanting this. I was waiting for this. This shit was just so lit just now. This yeah, was fun. Yeah, yeah for sure. This type of shit. I, like, I fuck this with this type of shit. I, I love to talk. So see now y'all been on here. So now when y'all come back, we can just do a pod. Yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah, now we can get guests. Now we can get into the real shit. For sure. We ain't gonna have these on this time. Yeah. I respect it though. I respect it though, but. But, um, you know, one more applause for Championship Music. We got Scotty B. We got AJS. We got Leak Magic in the building. Um, definitely go get everybody's project out now. All streaming platforms. Run their music videos. Run run everything. Gangsta shit. Run their vlog series. Run everything. Yeah, man. Uh, These yeah, boys man. really entertaining. No, so no. They so really are. They really are. <laughs> like, even, when, even when I was in the gym with them, boy, I would be dead laughing, boy. I was like, so yeah. was vlog at the back cage. That shit had me. That shit was funny. <laughs> that shit was funny. I know y'all just dropped a new one. Was it today? It was yesterday? last night. Last okay, okay, night, okay, yeah, bowling. Okay. Okay. Man, we used to do shit like that all the time. I gotta we watch was, that. We was a jackass in high school, no cap. Yeah. <laughs> we just, we just, we just had the camera rolling. Yeah. Niggas' phones was breaking and shit. So. Well, me and Zebo gonna have to make the vlog series. We are gonna have to go do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, gotta, I, gotta, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta get in there with y'all one day, we, man. We can pop up whatever. I'll let y'all know, like whatever we, we do. We gonna make it happen. Yeah, yeah, we gonna have to make it in the vlog. Side note: Are y'all going to um loose joint concert? The 17th, 16th. I ain't bought yeah, my ticket yet. I, I need to get mine too yeah, I before I fuck too. around and he's saying sold yeah. out. Then I'm be pissed. But Luke, you need to quit fucking playing, boy. No, you. You know. Let yeah, me don't even give me. Let me call. Let me. Let me call that. Let me call that. Let me call that. Just come in here with all of us, bro. Yeah, look like look like that. Yeah, yeah, you can sit right there. Everybody in here needs you real quick, man. Right, right here. You be right here in Bedford City, exactly. You right down the street. Before I pipe up, let me let me pipe down. So um, yes, we'll see you. We'll see. Soon. Yes, we will, and we will press you. Like every single we time. will be there. You oh. will get pressed. Oh yes, <laughs> you will get pressed. But um, yeah, he done got pressed by us about three times. Oh I'm yeah, I'll run up on him. I'm Fuck all the dapping up what? shit. <laughs> Open up your calendar app. Open it up. <laughs> We ain't doing the AI. You no doing nah? I cut all no, that no, shit. No, no. Fuck all that. Yeah, fuck all that. Open your count now. I ain't playing with your ass. No Come on, I'm uh, Respectfully, but we have one more uh, last segment here on the podcast. Then we're gonna let y'all get out of here. Right. It's called um, last minute questions. So. Have you ever done three people before? Nah, I don't know how we're going to do it. I it ain't going to be last minute. Yeah. It's going to be last minutes. two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Probably last two minutes. But so me and Tanner are going to spit out totally random questions off the top of the head. Some might be music. Some might not be. Right. Um, and we'll go Lee, Jack. I mean, Lee, Jack. Yes, and then Jack. 
Lee. Jax. Jack. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Scotty. Yeah. Scotty. Jack. There we go. Yeah, yeah. There we go. But, Scotty. But, but yeah, we'll go this way. So we'll, we're going to ask these questions quick. Y'all need to reply quick. Bet. And Let's again, go. these are just coming straight off the top. All right. I got mine. All right. So let me. I'm going to do two minutes. Mm-hmm. So they just like random questions. Yes, yeah, 100%. Like, it's all over the place. I still don't even know what I'm I was answering the same question. Or what yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So yeah. if yeah. I say, like, what's your ice cream? It was like vanilla, chocolate. I got you. You know, blah, blah. Okay, next question. Yeah. Let's do it. You start out with yours first. All right, bet. Lee, you go first. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Y'all ready? This is yeah. my favorite question. Here we go. Three, two, one. Dream place to live. New York City. Uh, Dallas, Texas. Cali. What's the worst basketball team? Ooh. Oh, my God. Charlotte Hornets. <laughs> Hornets, for sure. Pistons. Uh, favorite video game? Oh, my God. NCAA 25. Shit, GTA San Andreas. Uh, Spyro. What's one? <laughs> what's one of your favorite beats you've ever heard? Oh shit! Oh my god! That goddamn thirty hours. Uh, damn! Be. Uh, shit! Damn! That beat is elevators. Cold. Uh, crack music. Mm. Mm. Uh, '90s crush. Ooh, Ooh. Vivica Fox. Ooh. <laughs> or, Le- or Lisa Ray. Me along. What's girl off? Uh. Fuck. I can only think it's 90s. Malibu Most Wanted. The girl who uh, B Rat was oh. with. Man, I always fuck with her. Regina Hall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it Regina Hall? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's an uh, underrated artist? Mm. Underrated artist. Underrated artist. Lee Magic. Championship Music. Scotty B. And my boy Fargo. Good ass. Uh, Dream Car. Oh, uh, Orange Lamborghini with pink interior. Ooh. Damn. It's going to look like Vice City. <laughs> Y'all play that GTA right there. <laughs> Black BMW, Bama. Mm. Uh, give me a G wagon truck. Okay. Mm. Um, favorite color? Mm, blue. Blue. Black. And then last question for you then. Uh, favorite Jordan? Grill. Ice. In my yeah, I'm gonna get me some tea soon. Mm-hmm. Mm. Shit, um, cookout order. Let me get you crazy, Jackson. Boo boo. Gotta get your stick. <laughs> <laughs> No, I know. I know. You know what's crazy? Whenever I saw I saw you at cookout and I text Scotty and I said, Boy, I saw that boy Leak Magic Cookout. He said, Both of y'all trash. Both of y'all trash. I swear to God, that was a long time. Like, it was crazy. I, I think I went from a girl. I think I might have got some hush puppies that night. I don't eat that shit. last week after the bowling shit. Bro, that yeah, I did. So did. And I, think, I think I went there for my girl, too, though. She liked that milkshake. Yeah, bro, yeah, bro, that shit was crazy. Zemo, me and Zebo was so fucked up. Oh, you I was, was like, there, bro. too? I was like, Bro, that's the first time I've ever seen Leak Magic. I've like, ever seen Leak outside. Yeah, outside. Yeah, I've never seen Leak outside. Paying attention Yo, that's to Lee. Day, bro. That's crazy. Like, where was we coming from? Nah, like, I, 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 I was like, Jordan Show. I'm Jordan Show. 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 I, I, I pulled up on them Jack Spooky, like on oh. Boys in the Hood. I was Yo, like, Yeah, that shit was boys. crazy. But goddamn, um, I tell my, 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 oh, fuck. My, my, my tray probably got down big double burger tray, no cheese, pickles, mayonnaise, Cajun seasoning on the burger. Yes, sir, got to. Probably double fry. On the burger, can't see on the burger, make right. it hit. Come on, yeah, nah, I mean, tell, tell, tell Scotty he sleep. He sleep. sleep. He sleep bad. He sleep, man. Yeah, he sleep bad. And uh, you know, fried double fries or hush puppies with the barbecue sauce. Yes, sir. Shit, Jack. Big double burger, cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, uh, ketchup, and um, fries and hush puppies. Shit, I might go that chicken strip club style. Okay. Like, uh, <laughs> give me some fries, season fries. Probably give me a chicken quesadilla. Probably give me a cup of cheese. Okay, okay. A cup of cheese. I do, have, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I do have I have one more question I do want to ask. Who's the coolest video game character? Ever? CJ of San Andreas. <laughs> Same. Are you saying CJ? Yeah, I say CJ too. Uh, I ain't gonna you tell you, you my boy. No, 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 I can't. Say CJ. I'm gonna tell you my boy a fool. What's his name? Something some Morgan. Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh, Arthur Morgan. John, Arthur, John, Arthur Morgan. Morgan. Arthor Morgan. Yeah, Arthur Morgan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arthur Morgan. Hey, Arthur Morgan. Hey, 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 I was just playing that last week. I yeah, just be feeling bro. like I'm going to beat the level because I got him. Yeah, like, he, he was a bad yeah, man. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, Arthur was a dog. Arthur Morgan, man. man. Brad tuberculosis was still out here oh, killing yeah. people. Nah, he he <laughs> oh, your boy, I got a war. He'll kick yeah, ass. Yeah, Jackson. Oh, yeah. Shit, damn. Okay, I ain't going to say CJ then. I'm going to say, um, damn, I can't even think. Uh, yeah, you on the spot. You might as well go Def Jam Vendetta character or something. Ooh, get up. Yeah. Fat Joe. Whoa. Snoop Dogg on that bitch. Okay, okay. Them okay. boys don't play okay. them games. Okay. I'm, right. a, I'm okay. a gamer okay. now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, good answers from Championship Music for last minute questions. Good job, did a great job. Um, 
that's all we got before we um while we close out. Um, is there anything that I, I missed? Everybody good? Everybody Appreciate cool? y'all boys for having us, man. Hey, of yeah, course. Yeah. Of course. Appreciate Next everything. time y'all see them, we'll be on the debate episode. And it's going to be wild. Yo, yeah. It's going to be wild. Oh, my God. It's going to be wild. They're going to they gonna pull me up out of here. <laughs> hey, I'm going to just sit that motherfucker and smoke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hey. chilling. Hey, we're going to have a whole crowd of motherfuckers <laughs> that just want to be here. We're just going to talk. Go ahead, a whole turn, audience. Go ahead and turn your volume down because it's going to get loud. Oh, yeah. For sure. For sure. And I'm going to say some other long shit. Hey, look, make sure y'all have three hours under your belt at least. Yeah, you got to watch that on like a Friday. Like a yeah. Saturday morning or oh, something. Yeah. Driving, you gotta work. Yeah, watch that while you're working. Nah, facts, facts. Yeah, let, go by. yeah, let that run. But um, that's all I got for everybody today. But uh, thank you again for coming through. Uh, make sure you follow Leak Magic at Leak Magic underscore baby. Ajax underscore Swayze. Scotty B World. Make sure you follow Tanner at Pay to Play Records. Make sure you follow me at Zebo G to Zebo Page Zebo NC in the podcast page last minute podcast. Make sure you tune in to Zebo's Boombox where you can find your next favorite NC artist on Spotify and Apple Music. Shout out to our sponsors, Mama Cita's Food Truck and Libation's Mobile Bar. Um, and of course, get everybody's project. Like I said, it's out now on all streaming platforms, all three of them. Make sure you get that. Make sure you get gangster shit. Um, get, you know, support, support, all that. Um, and wherever you are, as long as the music is good. Make sure you support your local artists. Thanks. Run their music videos. Run their albums. Let them know what songs are good, what songs ain't good. And um, give them good <laughs> feedback. And that's all I got. Last word. That's it. Gangsta shit. Don't be weird. Plants. Plants? Mm. GTA. Is that a word? No, that's not a word. No. That's not a word. Uh, cozy. Come on, cozy. <laughs> all right. Gangsta shit. We out. <laughs> yeah, gangsta shit. But just know, Zebo. Is where it's at. Oh, Zebo TV, North Carolina. Yeah. yeah. yeah.